everybody. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time it is for you where you are. Hold on, it is we this this light is way too much. We are we have we have incorrect <laughs> incorrect lamp levels. So let's all let's all calm down. Uh Yeah. Yeah. Gremlin cave? Gremlin cave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Happy Saturday! Welcome and good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time it is for you where you are. Oh, Kitty Cat's here to say hi. I am here to say hi. Hello! Enjoyed the news video? Interesting. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. I, uh, I got up, I got up early this morning to make sure I could finish it because I did not finish it yesterday. I wanted to take a real quick screenshot of my holy priest bars this time and see if I can recreate them in alpha so we can mess around. <laughs> She's headbutting my hand. So we can mess around with some holy priest dungeons today. That's kind of what I want to get towards. I'm not in a huge hurry. Holy priest key. Keebs. <laughs> That'll work. Let's, let's pop into alpha and turn on some sound. Oh, always greatly enjoyed, especially when they dump, you know, <laughs> everything. It was a lot of it was a lot of stuff. I definitely didn't cover everything that happened. I'm sure I don't even know everything that happened, but I did my best to find out all the parts that really got me going. <laughs> Is that a beam of sunshine coming through in your plants? Um it looks like sunshine on the camera. It's, 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 there's light. <laughs> there's natural light from the window. Um, I have, uh, my ISO kind of cranked up on the camera. Um, because I, because I live in a gremlin cave and because I light it very gently because strong lights give me headaches. So it's making that look like a lot more light than it actually is. Any plans to test out Druid? Not, not, not at this time. Um, excited to see how the dungeon difficulty squish impacts heroics. Mm -hmm. Plant is enjoying windows so Let me see here. Gremlin cave, best cave. Yeah, I was thinking maybe in a future office I might like one with more natural light. Because it definitely gets like real depressing in here. But I think that it's me. I think I'm the problem. It's me. I'm the one making it depressing by coming in here and being all grim. Um, menu, they moved it. If I want to turn my game sound back on, which I do. Here we go, do that. And then I think what I actually need to do is, because I want to play around with hero talents, I need to make another priest. This is the level 71 priest that I'm playing the shadow and leveling up in the outdoor area, and I'm enjoying that. But for today, I think I'm going to make another one because I, now that I, because I want to play with hero talents and I can't do both on the same character right now. So I need to pick a pick a character. I cannot make an earthen, otherwise I would do that. In the absence of earthen, I don't know. Like I know I wanted to be a priest. I don't know if there's anything in particular that I needed to be or have. Hmm. Do you remember the quaking cave botter fix that involved a dead dummy perpetually casting a spell? May have helped me win a guild riddle challenge. Congratulations on your challenge. I am 98% sure that you didn't hear that from me because it's, it looks like brand new information to my eyes. <laughs> more light can help with one's mindset. Yeah. I know that in the past when I've had more natural light in my office, it's made it difficult for me to keep my lighting consistent. But I've also, I think in recent years, abandoned the notion that my lighting needs to be consistent. As long as you can, like, vaguely see me, I don't think I really care how bright or dark or purple or otherwise it is. I'm not color grading on, um, on, on this, on the, on the live footage. It's not that important. Um, I don't think we need to be that polished. So I think it's fine. Um, I'm making a priest. I'm saving Troll Priest for Zandalar, for Remix, actually. I'm saving Dark Spirit Troll Priest for Panda Remix. That's gonna be fun. In the meantime, would it be really boring to make another gnome, kind of? A mecha gnome. That's definitely less... <laughs> more interesting. Less boring. Oh, let's be a... let's be a zombie. Let's be an undead, right? Yeah. Holy priest? No. Life force giant. Pretty. 
What if I just leave her just like that? Like, everything's... Well, who am I just leaving her? Everything's perfect. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm not keeping this character. <laughs> um, that's different. Never had magpies outside my window before. Tonight's D&D &D night? Very nice. I think you needed to be a Pendar. Able to see the new human racial here. As, I don't know if they've implemented it yet. Oh, you know what I should be is a pointy-eared cult here, and if that's in. <laughs> uh, let me see. Humans, right-click, racials. No, it still says bonus to rep gains. They haven't actually fixed it. Katie, you want down? How about a Volterra? <sighs> um, what was I? I was excited about... A, I was excited about... Hang on. Customize. Face, hair, hair color, mustache, beard, eye color, eyesight. I don't think... I don't see pointy... Maybe that was just data mined? Um, Hazel, I was wondering if you could test out a night elf. Mohawk. You know what, actually? You know what I never play is male Nelf casters. I feel like we could make somebody magnificent. Where is the Mohawk? There's, the, there's like a tall one, isn't there? I know that Undead have a tall one. Oh, no, that's the that's the Mr. T. It's not that tall. It's pretty cool though. <laughs> in a, in a way. Um, all right, let's make him. I kind of like him being like a little purple. He needs to be as ridiculous as possible. Not ridiculous. That's not a very nice word. Let's make him as exciting as possible. Let's give him... Hang on. Is it sillier with nothing? A little bit. And then his beard could be... Trimmed? I feel like the... I feel like the, the elastic in the middle combined with the aggressive chops on the side is pretty good. And then hair color wise... He, it has to be pink. <laughs> We're getting somewhere, right? All the leaves in the hair. Oh yeah, that's right. There's other stuff. So he's got... I mean, we could give him no eyebrows. Although, honestly, I think that improved him, which isn't really the vibe I'm going for here. So, overgrown... I mean, I feel like the, the really thick ones are just kind of giving gnome. This is giving Spock, and we're, we're here for that. He can have... If he has a blindfold, that explains how he leaves the house looking like this. Uh, and then maybe... Maybe the biggest possible ears. Thick. There we go. Markings. <laughs> this is... I'm clearly, you know, working on the important stuff over here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the leaves. I love the vines in in the mohawk. This is good. This is very nice. We appreciate Under the sea. Good vibes. The actual Wizard of Oz himself. Do you think male Nell's waist train? And it it kind of looks like what he's wearing. <laughs> My goodness. Um, and then you can have some more. Of course he needs tattoos. Um, I feel like I feel like this is the closest to like the the ubiquitous generic tribal tattoos of the of the nineties. Let's let's do that. Um, is he perfect? I think he's perfect. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever bring back the Mohawk grenades. I don't think I've heard of that. Grumpy up, but bright pink. Oh, that's true. We do need to get him the grumpiest possible face. I bet it could get... It looks like Eleven's pretty angry. Eleven... Yeah, because it's got kind of like a... Like a grr. There we go. This is you after pugging healing dungeons. Um, his name is... Grumpus. And he is going to be a holy priest. <laughs> this is not this is not the new content that's been added. You can make Grumpus on retail. <laughs> new main He needs a very serious name. Mm. Oh man. Muffin. Oh, muffin. 
So he needs to hide his uh, helmet, of course. We'll, we'll work on his mog, but we I need to do bars and talents first. Because the, the main point is I want to play around with all the Holy Priest toys. I want to like look around at the tools and stuff at the hero talents. Um, and I want to try them out in the new dungeons. Because we did do a new dungeon yesterday. We did one run of the Cinder Brew Meadery. I'm just going to clear off everything from the bars and start from scratch here. We did a run of the Cinderbrew Meadery. It was a lovely time, but I was DPSing, which means that I didn't pay any attention. So maybe if I'm healing, I'll learn something. He also probably wants to turn on, like, I don't know, auto loot, class colors, display class colors. And I might need some more action bars, and then I need to set up my layer real quick. I was going to do this last night, but then I was busy. Uh, action bars. Oh, my time gets a lot easier to account for when I include emotional distress as being busy. It's good. <laughs> Makes all the math check out better. So, um, talents-wise, should I just take their starter build? Let's just take their starter build. That'll save me some time. I don't know if I'm going to love it, but it'll it'll work for the moment. And then we'll talk to... Uh, We'll talk to the guy to get the hero talents to play around with, and then we'll try and find a room for everything on the bar. What Hello, I would like hero talent points, please. Thank you. We shall meet. And then he needs an expedition yak on his bar so that he can fix his Come outfit a little bit, proud. wear there. something, something that, that doesn't get in the way of his, um, his, his glamour. We can't cover up his face, certainly. <laughs> um, there we go. We're gonna call that Grumpo. Grumpo? Grumpus? His name's Grumpus. And then maybe the staff can be... Oh, we don't even need to mock the staff. We can just put his bullets on it, but not. Good fortune to all friends of the Grumos. Okie dokie. Hero talents. Should I read those first, or should I make room for everything on my bar first? Let me set up my bars normally so I kind of have a feel for where my my usual stuff goes and then I'll go back through and read the hero talents. So I know I made myself an angelic feather macro and a uh, levitate macro. So those are good. Those go in the same spot. And then we have, that's going to go here. This will just take a hop, skip, and a jump here. It looks like when, as long as you're moving things, your stuff, the bar is kind of like, come forward, which is nice. PI, I usually have macro to cast directly on Flabby, but until he gets into alpha, I guess we can give it to other people. Desperate Prayer goes over here. Real quick fade. I want to thank Ahoy Stumpy for the first sub of the day. 14 month resub. Very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. This is alpha. Yeah. Leap of faith. There's a liability for me to have. Uh, Fort... Offensive Dispel, yeah, Unshift 4, Flash Heal, that's an actual button we're gonna use. Not worried about Mind Vision. Apparently I put Powered Shield on different, different Keybind for, um, for, this one's Unshift 1, yeah. Apotheosis goes. I must have an Apotheosis Keybind. I wonder if it's the same as my Salva Keybind? It's a bit weird. I really don't have a better button for it than that. I might move it. Uh, regular heal over here. Serenity, important. Purify, important. One thing that I love, love, love about this compared to older versions of Alpha, and this isn't a War Within thing specifically. This was a Dragonflight thing. Maybe even at the end of, at the end of Shadowlands, I think, is when they added this. But being able to just enable mouse over casting in-game from a toggle means that I don't have to either... I don't have to install any add-ons. First of all, but secondly, I also don't have to spend yi 19 years of my life setting up focus macros, or not focus macros, um, mouse over macros for all of my stuff. Because um, that's what I used to do is I used to <laughs> get on, to, I used to get on the beta or like PTR or whatever. And I used to be like, all right, I need a mouse over macro for renew and prayer of healing and prayer of mending. Um, but nowadays I just do this and all of a sudden is everything is mouse overcast. Good. Okay. Let me catch you in chat for a moment, and then we'll take a look at hero talents. Morning, Hazel and chat. Good morning, Aaron. 
seems like your goal to start the X-Pack broke can come true with the War Bank. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get at least like a couple of tabs right off the bat, and then I'm gonna see how I feel with those before I commit more gold into it. I can kind of play that out by ear. So I could be an Oracle or an Archon. Both of them look like they've been imp One of them looks like it's been <laughs> implemented. It looks like Archon is not available yet, so I cannot yet be highly devout, deeply connected to Light and Shadow. So I guess we're an Oracle. Let's read. Premonition. Gain access to a spell that gives you an advantage against your fate. A one minute cooldown. Using your abilities rotates through the available spells. Premonition of Piety increases your healing done by 5% and causes 50% of overhealing on players to be redistributed up to three nearby allies. Premonition of Insight reduces the cooldown on your next three spell casts by five seconds. And Premonition of Solace makes your next single target healing spell increase your target's healing received. So single target healing... Um, emergencies where you need to like get your cooldowns back really fast and then just like a general AOE kind of value thing. <sighs> Gain access to a spell that gives an advantage. Using your abilities rotates through the available spells. Can I just take that for a second and like play around with it before I read the rest of them? Because I don't understand yet. I might when I get it. So right now I have Premonition of Piety. If I use it and then we have that buff for 8 seconds. And it's changing based on which... Wait, using any spell? Oh, wacky. Oh, weird. Okay. Alright. So it's a one minute cooldown, and when you activate it, you get one of the three buffs. To choose which of those three buffs you get, you're not stopping it on a timer, but every time you press any priest spell... Any, not anything, actually. Desperate Prayer didn't do it. Um, Divine Hymn did do it. What about, what about this one? Master Spell did do it. Oh, um, Fortitude does it as well. So if you want to just toggle through them ahead of, like, a pull, you could just spam Fort and get, and get the one that you want that way. But aside from that, you just wait until you, like, you just keep spell casting until it's on the one that you want. I imagine people might run like a weak aura or something just to make the icon bigger so that you know which one that you're on before you go ahead and press the button. It's... Yeah. It's more widely applicable than the PI thing. It still, I think, is just going to take a bit of getting used to. Just to make sure that you... There's probably like a little bit of super sweaty optimization gameplay of being like, oh man, how do I have the right buff available at the exact right moment in the fight? You know, where can I like sneak a couple of redundant casts or like, you know, hold a cast because I'm on the right buff and I don't want to toggle off of it in order to get this at the perfect moment. And then for most people in most situations, you're just gonna like you can you just cast it like two or three seconds later if it if it needs needs doing. I don't think I'm going to stress about that too much, but I can see how somebody who wants to play perfectly is going to have their work cut out for them. Okay, let's look at the rest of the stuff. Preventative measures increases your shield damage by 10% and the healing done by palm. Preemptive care uh, gives me, in this case, additional renew duration because I'm a holy priest and I don't have atonement. This one is a choice node. We can take waste no time. Which makes uh, any of the Prem buffs cause your next Radiance, Heal, or Prayer of Healing to be instant and cheaper. That seems nice. Otherwise, you could reduce the cooldown of Power Word Life and allow it to be usable in targets below 50% health. I'm sorry, what is the default cooldown for Power Word Life? If we're reducing it by 3 seconds, how impactful is that? Pretty impactful. It's only a 15 second cooldown. Normally usable under 35% health. I don't know. Waste no time seems just good for general um, general efficiency. Yeah. Yeah, Archon's not released yet. <sighs> Happy Archon has nothing to do with the Kyrian. Do you think the Harrow will be playable? No, but I'm no fun. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, I never think anything's going to happen until it smacks me in the face. Assured safety. Power Word Shield casts apply one stack of palm. 
prepare mending cast apply powered shield well, that's kind of nice and also synergizes with preventative measures and then over here you got you got you've got reduce cooldown in your dispel extremely useful or when an ally walks through a feather you also get its effect it's for some kind of bleeding heart that wants to like help people on a healer i don't know <laughs> this is, this couldn't be me Pain up reduces damage taken. Guardian Spirit lasts an extra two seconds. That's fine. This all seems like pretty, pretty boilerplate stuff. Also, it's not finished yet. This one is just under construction. That's not implemented. Um, we don't know what Clairvoyance is going to do, but Perfect Vision reduces your Prem cooldown, which seems fine. Prem's effect is increased if the Divine Spell is different than the previous Prem initions. So a big bonus if you are mixing them up and not using the same one all the time. Alternately... Oh, okay. So if you take this Narrowed Visions talent, you get an extra charge of Premonition, and it will only rotate to the next spell. Wait, when you cast Premonition. I Never mind, that sounds awful. Because, like, <laughs> on one hand, I'm like, oh, cool, you don't have to play the, the selecting game. And then on the other hand, it's like, no, you still have to. You just, it's it's awful now. I mean, I guess that's probably good if you don't care which Premonition you're casting, and you just want to be, like getting them out having an extra charge i mean it's just an extra charge i don't know that seems bad um and mind you i'm not a theory crafter i'm just a rando when your powered shield is fully absorbed or your palm heals gain a stack of grand reveal and at 150 stacks gain an extra charge of premonition sure yeah that seems fine um especially because you're getting little powered shields from prayer of mending so assuming those ones count um, just keeping palm up time is going to be really good for that. Alright. So I've got Prem on 6. Let me remind myself what it does again. The one that looks like a clock reduces the cooldown of your next 3 spell cast by 5 seconds. So that would be a really good one to use on Prayer of Mending. It would be a good one to use on Serenity. Or basically just anything that with, a, with a cooldown. The one that looks like Piety is just healing done and overhealing redistributed. And then the other one was Solace, which is single target. So the white looking one is single single target healing received. Okay. Mm. Uh it literally couldn't be you with your self cast macro. Uh-huh. Have you listened to the new Taylor Swift album yet? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I had that on yesterday while I was while I was working. There's a lot of there's a lot of songs in there. <laughs> Keeps you busy for a while. Am I happy with this? Have I I've got one talent left to spend, but I think it's probably just like an un unspent like an unimplemented one. Active. One point available. Did I not opt into something? No, I think I opted into everything. I think that's just how it is. Okay, am I ready to start healing dungeons? Do I see any reason not to? Random dungeon war with them. No, seems good. Send me in. 1 to 12 on the banger scale. Um, I mean, it's not like a... like a. It depends on what, what you're looking for. I, there's definitely some jams in there, but I wouldn't say like... Like glitzy pop bangers, you know? A lot of it is very like... It it feels it feels like extra like the first the first half of the album feels like extras off midnight and the second half of the album feels like extras off of folklore. I liked both of those albums, so I'm fine with that. But it's not like I'm gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna be like blasting it at 24 and rolling my windows down, heading to the club. But also, it's not like I'm doing that anyways. <laughs> Why does it have 31 songs? Because she's she's busy. <laughs> What are you talking about? Oh, uh, the new Taylor Swift album. The cow gave them all. You're level 71, so it thinks you have one point. Um, uh, okay. Speaking of bugs, I want to I wanna mention for posterity that we were talking yesterday about why I couldn't get my dragon riding talents working, and there was a script that people had been posting around, and I tried that, and it didn't work, and then I tried it. I tried a bunch of different stuff, and the only thing that I didn't manage to try yesterday on stream was going to Valdraken specifically. Um, to do it because people swore that that worked even after they turned off scripts. But I <laughs> want to let you know that after stream, off stream, 
I crawled my way to Valdraken, which involved a hilarious flight where I got onto the taxi that takes you from the bottom of the Ruby Life Shrine to the top of it, because I was like, this will help me get over there, because I was trying to get to Valdraken on only three vigor, and the flight path was not active. Um, the flight path was not enabled by default on Alpha. So I, and you get on that ferry, and it just took me through a mountain in a straight direction, like through underwater lakes, causing me to start to drown, and then eventually just like freaked out and dumped me off on a road. Anyways, I made it to Valdraken, and it still didn't work, so <laughs> I did check. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, rolling the windows. Um, that's just like a thing that people do. Every now and then you'll see a vehicle go by, and their, their windows are down, and their music is really loud, and they're... I'm assuming going to a party, although sometimes they're just delivering pizza. Did you try the script today? No, I haven't tried it today. Um, but I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done messing with it. Out for drinks for friends earlier this week. Their jaws hit the floor when I told them I've never listened to her work. Yeah, she's kind of having a big cultural moment for the for now. Adventure was had, Journey to Valdraken. I almost want to go back and try that flight path again, just so I can show you guys, because it was pretty funny. <laughs> I did bug report it. I, I put it in my issue reporter. So we have a tank in queue. We're just waiting for a couple more DPS to queue up. I don't know what queue times are going to be like, but I'm hoping that they'll be reasonable because I'm healing. Um, maybe if everybody knew how awesome I looked, they would be they would be like all over these DPS queues. <laughs> hmm. Is it a good strategy to do Dragonflight World Quests and 10 plus tunes for gold? Yeah, people do that. People make lots of gold. I've heard of people making millions of gold doing that. It's time intensive, but it's effective. Um, and the nice thing is that there's no way to do it wrong. There's just ways to do it faster. Um, it's completely lossless. There's no investment required. Is the eye glow a mog or from the hero talent? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not a mog. I, I don't have any... My head... My helmet is hidden. I have no helmet mog on, so it's got to be a spell or a talent or something. Um, the only buff I have aside from Fort is Rhapsody, which is my next Holy Nova buff. And I don't think that did it either. I wonder if it's just because I'm an Archon? Because I feel like sometimes people might want to... Or not an Archon, an Oracle. What if somebody wants to be an Oracle and not have that on? Is it because of... Hang on. Hang on. Is it the Premonition? Is it because my next Premonition is Piety? Okay, no, never mind. I was going to say it. But that's an eyeball! And that's an eyeball! No, I think I'm just part of the WoW Illuminati. Um, it's the optics for Oracle. It, can we turn it off? It's obnoxious! <laughs> like, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> At least you don't have shadow form. It's, it's cool looking, but it seems like something that very much should be optional. Uh, his eyes have also gained a big glow that I definitely didn't customize them to have. Um, um, you recognized other streamers in your dungeons. I haven't been checking names. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's. There's creators everywhere. <laughs> I love this. He had a glow up. I don't know. He looks like he's about to take your your. Um, your, uh, cult dues. <laughs> you pay him 140,000 gold and he'll advance you to level 6. Big old bullseye for the hunters. <laughs> Once it's out, who will win for onesie mogs between Murloc and Yeti? I'm just happy that I'm going to have another option. I Like, another another thing. I can put boy in one and then, um, and then, uh, night flame in another one. <laughs> the boy's got, the boy's got outfits. I thought you were about to say he looks like he's about to steal your girl. <laughs> he looks like he could sweep a floor effectively with his face. Someone came up to me with that eye. I'm joining. No questions asked. Yeah, they probably got something. If it was on me, every hero talent besides the one I'll use will have an obnoxious visual. Now I'm questioning whether or not being a void weaver on, on my gnome testing character gave me some kind of visual. Do they all have visuals? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember it having one, but I don't want to log off and check right now because I'm in dungeon queue. Should I go quest as well? Should I just like have them send me out to Doran so I can just like smite things while I'm waiting? A lot are currently missing visuals on alpha. Once you become a hero, you cannot stop being a hero. 
I can't even switch to Archon to test it out. Actually, I can't switch to Archon. I just... I don't know if it's implemented. I feel like it's not, but let's, let's spec into it anyway. Yeah, you switch into Archon and then the eyeball is gone. And we have a bunch of talents that have intriguing icons and no effects whatsoever. <laughs> you can take it, though. <laughs> That's funny that as a holy priest you can be... I mean, I guess it, it'll do things. But yeah, yeah, that's definitely an oracle thing. Weird. They'll do something, right? Like, there's got to be some kind of a glyph you can get that would change or diminish that appearance in some way. Because, like... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not because of... I mean... Prem premonition comes with being an oracle, but even different prem buffs don't change the appearance of it. It seems like it's always up. Okay, put glyphs on talents. Yeah, they, they'll find a they'll find something. If I have to look like this for the whole expansion, if Archon ends up being the hero talent tree for me, or not Archon Oracle, I might have to start wearing helmets. Actually, there's a good question. If I put a big, fat helmet on him, <laughs> does it cover up his big, fat eyeball? Um, here. <laughs> no, it doesn't! It doesn't! It just shines right through the front of it! Oh, okay. All right, follow-up question. What is the best possible combination I can come up with for this? <laughs> of all of my cloth helmets. You can't see the eyeball in the preview. There's got to be some there's got to be some fun ones that with that with a big thing right in the front of it. It's one gold one gold each. I can change this a bunch of times. Let's put this on this key bind. All right. Now we're getting somewhere cult wise. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun game. I don't think a lot of helmets go with the onesie. That's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> oh, how do transmog unlocks work? First log in. If you have them, should be. Um, but I, I don't I don't quite understand like that. You won't be able to mog those onto anything that you can't mog them onto now. Oh, I see. You've like you have some on the bank and a different character maybe. That's a great question. Reminds me of the Kieran Tor helmet from Old War. <sighs> um, I need to look, check other helmets. I also never found out, and I don't think they are, but I never, I was looking for Tusa Manoroth on the Remix vendors because it is weird. I got a bunch of questions and it's true that it's weird that you can buy like the Heavenly on a Cloud Serpent and like the Corcoran Juggernaut, but not the, um, not, the the Tessa Manor off, but I don't know, I didn't find trails. him. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to find out. I couldn't say for sure. I hope we get like an actual cube. I guess I should um I should go quest in the meantime. Uh do I want to give him any stuff? Oh yeah, last time I just kind of went in without anything. Let's give him some uh, flasks and whatnot. Alchemical chaos. Secondary stats that are like randomized. That seems fine. Let's get a bunch of those. I'm noticing that they're flasks and not files and that they are one hour base duration and not 30 minutes. Good. Get a bunch of healing pots as well. Anything else that I want? Food? Is there like a... Ah, these don't have um, buffs on them yet. We've got names for food. There's rib stickers and meat and potatoes. Seriously. <laughs> uh, late night snack. Nightfall Nourishment, Daylight Delicacy. Do you think those are going to have different effects based on the time of day? Because wild, if true. Uh, chippy tea. Which I don't understand. Maybe it's British. Everything stew. Glyph of Ghostly Fade. Oh, hey, look, there's glyphs. I can get a, I can get the undead glyph and stuff. 
glyph of Shathyar, glyph of Velka. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beware the living. He's a cyclop. <laughs> Floss back to an hour. Yeah. Warbringer mounts, but not the other two dire horns. Like the ones from the Throne of Thunder room? Refers to fish and, and chips. What now? But like, why why would it be Chippy T? I guess I guess <laughs> I'm just uncultured. I'm I'm expecting it to like combine to form some greater word. And uh and it's there's there's, there's just not enough cold coffee for that. <laughs> Cause I've heard of fish and chips, I've just never heard of them called anything else. T equals dinner. So like a meal you would eat as your third and final meal of the day in the 5 to 7 p.m. region. All right, follow-up question. At tea, is there tea? <laughs> because I drink tea. I would never have like a cow like a black tea at dinner time though. It's like it's like people that like sometimes some some people will have coffee after dinner and like not even decaf coffee and to me that's bananas. Oh, oh, dire horns from the rares around Pandaria. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> you might have tea after tea, but I wouldn't have it during tea. Not necessarily, but maybe if they fancy it. Okay. This is so fascinating to me. My mom took regular tea during tea. I feel like I would want to have tea during tea just be just to make the match. You can have any drink, including tea. Sometimes caffeine makes you sleepy for neurospicy reasons. Yeah, I've looked into that. I don't know. I think I just don't understand because that's not the way that I'm the way that I'm wired. It's kind of like people saying that, like, actually, I <laughs> shouldn't shouldn't say anything because I'm totally not a doctor, not qualified at all. But um, you know how like people will use alcohol to get to sleep because it like relaxes you. And alcohol can help you fall asleep, but you get, like, awful sleep on it. Like, it's it has a bunch of functions that actually inhibit you getting good rest. I My uneducated vibe about the caffeine thing is that the extra stimulation helps your brain chill out enough to actually get to sleep, but that it would still, it would still be in your body to, like, interfere with your rest in some way. But I'm making that up and have no medical experience whatsoever, so please don't listen to me. I'm... Oh yeah, we were gonna go to Dornigal, that's right. <laughs> Alcohol sleep is awful. I don't I'm I'm broken though. I don't like I have if I have too much salt at dinner, I'm waking up at like 4 a.m. sweaty. It's just it's just none of it's working anymore. Also, I need to go eat tea. We're having hamburgers. See you later. See ya. Have a lovely tea. Mm. <laughs> Streamer told me to become alcoholic sleep better. Mm. I think I'm trying to have a dry 2024. I was just doing dry January, but then I kept doing it, and now I feel like I've got a streak going and I don't want to break it. <laughs> oh, it fascinates me how caffeine affects everyone differently. Yeah! Yeah. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> Gonna have to test that alcohol sleep thing for 10 years, BRB. Um, sounds dehydrating, Kathleen. <laughs> Eating tea bags or leaves. Hi, kitty. If I eat something off my healthy food routine, it ruins my sleep. Yeah. I think I'm in the market for a vice. <laughs> I've been leaving old ones behind. Not because I'm growing as a person or learning to cope with my feelings any better, but just because they, they started to hurt more than help. Um, and I'm not ready to learn a healthy emotional coping mechanism. So I think I'm after something new to ruin my life with. I want to go to the yeah. Let's 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 go adventure. Let's let's see how it feels just with the uh, holy fire and smite. <laughs> Is that streak breaking for season four? Vicious. I like viscous mount grinding. It's it's thick and gooey, and I'm gonna have to get it. A bit too much processed sugar, chocolate, candy. Body starts aching. Yeah, I get I uh, I feel that I get headaches. Um, it's just it's it's. Yucky. Hmm. I have to shove some rocks. There we go. I hope we get to try some dungeons today. I think I was miss... Um, I don't know how long we waited in queue last time, but I think I was miss uh, remembering how fast we got into one because I was having so much fun questing that I didn't really notice. 
I think Alpha also just has like a limited can. amount of people that are in we it right now, so you're not going to have like a super popping dungeon queue the whole time. Ah, so that's what the interface looks like. My warband previously completed this quest, so it'll still give me experience, it'll still give me gold, but it's not going to give me the rep again, Too because good. presumably... Um, I don't know where the indicator would be. There it is, Council of Dronegal. Um, I am Renown 2. I'm a flat Renown 2, which seems spooky, but sure. Uh, can we view the Renown? Yeah! Because um, this should be all account-wide. Yeah, Warband, Warband progress. Ran as well, which is interesting. Trusty Delve Companion. He's level 2 as well, so he's he's also Warband Reputation. Leveling up your brand levels him up account-wide. So sad about the diplomacy racial going. 2 of 50. Of 50? 25. Council of Dornigal, 25. Or is Bran 2 of 50? Bran is 2 of 50! Click to view options. Okay. Uh, to be fair, we got him to two with, like, one Delf. <laughs> yeah, Delves are on Alpha. We did one of them yesterday. Maybe if we get that far again, we can do one as, uh, as Holy and see how we, how we like having Bran. I mean, I guess we, he'll, he'll still be damaged. He was damaged last time and it was fine. See, see how we, how we like it. People make grips with their friends, not necessarily queue it. Mm. Friends. <laughs> what a concept. Have you experienced any of the headaches like you did with Dragonflight? Not yet, but I don't think I've put as much time in. Um, I felt okay after yesterday. I've been super tired, but I think I'm just I think I'm just kind of fried. <laughs> I'm a huge baby. It's been like I've been busy for like a week and I'm need to nap for like a year. Uh, Dragonflight headaches did you have? I used to get, I was, during the Dragonflight beta, and for a while I was attributing this to dragon riding, but I later narrowed it down to, um, just the graphics in general, something about the refresh rate. I'm assuming, I'm guessing, I don't know, we never figured it out for sure. Something about beta graphics, because it was also happening on PTR, was giving me, um, na nausea. It was making me nauseated and, like, headaches after a time, and eventually I would just need to, like, lie down after enough of it, but this so far, so far, so good. How can we know when a crab is an actual crab now? Oh yeah, let me turn it, let me turn the mode off, because <laughs> I, I do have Arachnophobe mode on. Um, I'm sure a lot of these are actually not crabs. Yeah, these are all Nerubians. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hope you can chill a bit this weekend. I'm gonna go see my mom this afternoon, which is gonna be nice. Um, it'll it'll be nice to catch up with her. I got up early and I finished the news video, and I think that's all I'm doing for videos for today. If I can do a good stream and get that posted, and then maybe like squint a look at my messages, I'll call that good for today, and then just go like <laughs> see my mom. <sighs> I need a hug. Uh, it's not an add-on to turn things into crabs. That is a new in-game option. It's an arachnophobe mode. It adjusts spider models into into crabs. The only one I found, I does it's not it's not fully implemented yet, but it uh, it does a pretty good job. I was playing around with the toys and I found that the sack of spectral spiders gets turned into spectral crabs with that with that um, option on. However, the Nerubian eggs that hatches spiders all over you still hatches spiders all over you. So clearly they're not done yet. I really thought it was just crabs because we're at a beach. They got me. Does mom love moose as we do? Yeah, she does. Um, she's she she likes Moosey a lot. <sighs> he's a he's a sweet dog, and he's real real nice with visitor, with visitors. He met so many people yesterday just by staring them down, and it works. So he keeps doing it. Like he'll walk by some people, and if they don't look busy, he'll just walk up to them and stop, maybe like two meters away, and just kind of like squint up at them, like hello. And, like, we'll try to move the dog along because he's, like, staring at people. <laughs> and then he'll be like, no, hang on, they might want to meet Moose. <laughs> and he did that to, like, a lot of people yesterday. Um, the good news is that he's cute and there's a lot of dog people around here, so most people don't mind. And certainly nobody has to meet the dog if they don't want to. Like, if someone if someone is busy or doesn't want to, like, I'm, I'm not going to just, like, let him detain them or anything. But, oh, man. Um... I went for like a walk yesterday and he kept doing that and by the end of it my small talk battery was gone <laughs> because my dog keeps introducing me to strangers 
Oh, I want the Slim Nerubians to be playable so much. So if Nerubians became playable, would players with the Arachnophobe filter see those players as playable crabs? <laughs> and if so, is this a point in against or in favor of them becoming playable? <laughs> How you feeling about Oracle? Would rather have the first option only, just an updated Velen's future site. Oh, like for Premonition? I need to try it more in dungeons to get a feel for whether or not I'm actually annoyed trying to like toggle through to the buff that I want. Um, and I think I need some time to kind of get used to what they are and what they do. I think I like it. One of the things that I liked about playing Prevoker that I miss a little bit was how customizable my kit was for a given situation. You could like mix and match which spells you wanted to use, how empowered you want them to be, what you want to put into your stasis to kind of like create custom healing toolkits for each like moment of the fight. And it seems like this is sort of a, like a baby version of doing that in a Holy Priest kind of way of figuring out like, what do I need now? And I mean, Holy Priest has been able to do that for a long time with different mechanics in the past, like chakras and whatever, but it seems cool. I just need to play with it to find out if it's annoying or not. <laughs> And even that's going to be like a personal assessment. You have my attention. <laughs> I need bunny phobia mode. Turns all bunnies into spiders. Healthy amount of self-esteem on that dog. I bet they want to beat me. It's because in his young life, it's generally true. <laughs> the trick, though, is that he wants to meet people. And by that, what he means is he wants to sniff their hand. And then he wants to jump around and try to play with them. He does not want them to pet him, which is a, a misconception he runs into a lot. Like he'll, someone will hold out their hand and he'll sniff it and it'll be all cute. And then they'll try to pet him and then he'll duck out of their, out of their way. Like, whoa, what are you doing? And then they go, oh, did I scare you? And then he just like jumps down into like the play bow dogs do. And I'm like, no, he just wants to rumble. <laughs> he just wants to, to romp a moose conception, if you will. Uh, similar to the Night Fae Priest ability. I'm not familiar with the Night Fae Priest ability. I played Kyrian through. Oh no, it was fairies, wasn't it? Something, something fairies. Oh, I don't remember the details. <laughs> I need a dog to force me to talk to strangers. It's actually shocking how much more... I wouldn't say that I've like made any like friends. Like there's nobody that we're like visiting on purpose, but there's people that will like stop and chat Nobody with in the street up. that we like know some names of and we'll be like, oh, you know, hey, how's so-and-so? You know, I heard they I heard they had like surgery or whatever. Like you, you, you just you learn things about people. Sometimes from them and then sometimes from other people. Um and before I got a dog, I never would have had any kind of a thumb in the neighborhood gossip pie. <laughs> Has anyone rumbled with him yet? Yeah, there's a couple of people that will actually like jump around with him and like get him get him get him going, get him to play. Uh, most people most people don't because we're people and not dogs and also he he doesn't jump on you. He just wants to kind of like run around, you know. I mostly only talk to my neighbors with dogs because they have dogs. Yeah. I do like that, though. I didn't realize that when I got a dog, I was getting a ticket to meet all of the other dogs. I should have realized. I just didn't think it through. But um, before I got a dog, I was really dog crazy. And I just really wanted to say hi to dogs. And now that I've been on the other side of it, I kind of wish I'd asked more often because um, certainly you can't meet every dog you see and there will be some dogs that just, some, like plenty of times where it's not appropriate. But there's also plenty of times where people are happy to stop. Speaking of somebody that stops all the time so people can meet my dog. Um, and they're just, they're just happy that their dog can socialize and meet somebody and it's just like a nice interaction all around. Like it happens all the time. It's not that big of a deal. And if somebody says no, that's fine too. I kind of... I don't think I would go back in time and ask more often because I still am who I am and that's too much for me, but um, especially puppies because a lot of people with puppies really are trying to socialize into lots of different people. So having a, a nice interaction with various different strangers is usually really good for helping puppies get settled in society. <laughs> if they were to throw a thing, he would be happy. Yeah, he would tear off after it. The trouble is that he's on leash and he doesn't always respect that he's on leash. So sometimes he's like, well, I'm going after that. You're coming with me, I guess, because you're attached. Um, you know what I want is I want nameplates. Even stinky blizzard nameplates. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Got to meet other dogs way less after our dog because he's reactive. Mm, that is, that is, that is a thing. 
Doggo school, scheduled doggo social hour helped. Mm -hmm. Tall tower with elevators and close quarters with neighbor's dogs. They're always ready to meet. <laughs> I've met some really nice dogs. What I got to pet the, the sweetest golden see. retriever. Control your power. It was just like a big what fluffy bundle of happy. It figured out that I had treats in my pocket, so it was like make, making real nice. <laughs> uh, I love you. Please feed me. Sort of thing. <laughs> Toddler on the other hand, stock crazy, so we meet all the dogs, and I love it. Blue healer, Catahoula mix, and a husky. One's five, the other one's almost two. My baby boy is almost one. He is. Oh, hi, kitty cat. He's almost one. His birthday's in May. Hi, welcome back. I love Goldens. They're my spirit animal and possibly my ancestors. What did he almost one? He is almost one. Year old. Birthday's in May too. Well, happy early birthday. This, uh, <laughs> this dungeon keeps not happening. <laughs> maybe if, maybe we'll end up in Delves instead or something. Roddy from a few years back was unsocialized from prior life and random people on meetings was nervous. Hated people not asking. That is definitely like unreasonable is when people just like go up to your dog and assume it's fine and don't ask like that's just kind of storm dark behavior you are always welcome. i'm lucky that a lot of people are pretty a lot not everybody but a lot of people are pretty dog conscious around here and will like check in with you first <laughs> just keep his dps and heal instead he'll bait and switch <sighs> Am I even looting anything anymore? Can we see that huge guy? It's a crab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, accessibility. Arachnophobe mode. Might need to reload. Oh no! I don't think he... I guess he's not spidery enough. Um, because it looks like these ones automatically turned into lobsters, but he is not a lob... This one. Queensguard. Not a lobster. At one point at the bank, your gnome was covered in spiders. Yeah, sorry. That's uh, that was from a toy. I use. I was looking for spider toys at an earlier point to test out the arachnophobe filter, and the lay spider eggs toy covers you in spiders, and is not yet affected by the arachnophobe filter. I was checking to see if it would cover me in crabs. Um, <laughs> does does not. <sighs> Um, some named mobs change. I've seen screenshots of my ex now as a large crab, which I enjoyed a lot. What do you mean? I definitely did it. <laughs> but um, maybe they'll get to the lay spider's toy because uh, I bug reported. I issue reported it, I should say. <laughs> can't just can't just throw around words like bug. Well met, Magni. Help. <laughs> Maybe it just has to respawn. Oh, there you go. Super looking forward to the new X pack. In chat a few weeks ago, everyone recommended getting back into WoW, and I'm super enjoying it. Oh, I'm glad you're having fun. Almost felt like a cookie video Easter egg. I'm still chuckling. <laughs> yeah, I definitely the the section covering the arachnophobe mode is not fully arachnophobe friendly because in the in the mount journal as well, you definitely still have um. Like when you look at the Blood Thing Widow mount, the preview of the mount shows the actual mount model. It's just when you actually mount up on an in game that it turns into crab. Happy when I saw you got alpha. <laughs> Worked hard a little when you were sad. I'm I'm sorry. I need to keep my feelings a little on a little more on the inside. I was just having a a rough day in general, and I think I was I was pinning it on alpha a little bit. Mm. Why is that mob as a humanoid, not an undead? That's weird. I guess I don't know much about the inner beans. I don't know. I don't know. Meet, build room, and talk. Okie dokie. This storm rook will take you to Dornigal, but it flies very slow. You sure you want to do that? <laughs> what if you just ride anything else? Hmm. Let's get on a fierce razor wing. 
one of the Corthia mounts. And then we're heading... Whoa, 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 key mounts. This one. I didn't even notice last time that there was like a, like a default mount. Oh, and that gives you, that gives you vigor back to kind of help you get through all of this. Thanks for your videos. Oh, cheers. Thanks for watching them. <laughs> the cutscenes. I, I prefer if, um, I'm not a big cutscene person, so I don't have a huge amount of skin in this game, but I think it's nice if they keep cutscenes in that form for testing and they save the actual like big cutscenes for when the game comes out so that people that want to watch them for the first time when they're playing it don't have to avoid things quite so much. I kind of I kind of like that. I don't feel like uh like as long as they play properly I'd, and I feel like people Blizz can kind of <laughs> error test their cutscenes just fine. How is the priestess saber fly? Oh, we can check it out after this one. Don't let me forget. I do want to look at that. <laughs> I want to try hero talented dungeons. The more I've been looking at them, I had been kind of putting off taking like a super close look at them until alpha because I didn't want to, you know, get my you know, socks in a twist about um about something that I'm like misinterpreting until I can get a feel for how it feels when you're actually playing with it. But so far, I mean, the Void Weaver stuff was kind of fun. I guess I only had one Void Weaving talent. It looks like a lot of the hero talents don't, like, there's, like, kind of a cool core mechanic to each tree. And there's some neat improvements, but not a lot of it is very, like, high lift on your part. It doesn't seem like most of it changes everything that you do. Like, a lot of tier sets change your rotation in a more impactful way than hero talents do. It's almost more just like a, a flavor thing. Um... Animated real time cutscene. <laughs> uh, I did not get into a dungeon. You fell asleep. <laughs> you are nothing. Warband bonus for previously completing a quest. Five hundred resonance crystals. That's a lot of resonance crystals. Those are the currency that you get from doing delves, and you can use it to buy delve cosmetics. But I only had like a hundred of them from actually doing a delve. That's kind of cool. Fair debris rescue earth and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Follow up question. No, they're not transferable. I figured they would be because they are for cosmetics. So it seems like a good candidate for like a warband yoinkable currency, but they don't, it doesn't have the options I showed yet. Maybe it's coming. Do the scrolling explanations mean no captain exposition? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen him, but I also haven't been looking. DH only have like three buttons before hero talents. <laughs> some of them are so passive, nothing about rotation changes, but I'm sure some people will prefer that. I think it's nice to have that as an option. And with pairs of hero talent trees available for every spec, I think that if you want something that is more, more juggly to play with, there should be a choices for that. The kicker is going to be how closely balanced all of this is. So somebody doesn't feel massively disadvantaged for either taking or not taking a more passive build. Um, they that's a tricky game for them to play to see how close they can get all of them. And they did say that that's one of their goals is to get them as close as they can so that you can play something that you like without feeling like you're doing it wrong. And they're never going to get it 100% perfect. There will always be a mathematically best thing. You can never balance something to like perfection. But um, I hope that they're close enough for me to kind of not worry about it. And I'm, I've am i got a pretty forgiving margin. <laughs> so I think it'll be okay for me. <sighs> Oh yeah, I guess that's as far as... No, I definitely did that quest. It's interesting that they have different... You can see pretty clearly which ones you've um, done. Which ones you've done before. <laughs> Captain Exposition, now in retirement. You went live at 5pm, prime nap time, not my problem. That is that is key nap time. Four... I don't know. I was going to say four to five, but I can, I can go down from two to six if I'm tired enough. <laughs> Miss Hazel, we formerly de formerly demand the priestess's saber flying to be checked out immediately. <laughs> That's good. All right. <laughs> uh, moon saber, dynamic flying. 
That would be his note anyway, wouldn't it? Whoa! <laughs> Did you know it was like this? Whoa! Doesn't it fly better than that normally? What is... <laughs> He's swimming. Because this mount normally flies. It gets wings, right? Um, I'm pretty sure that in standard flying, this mount has wings. And it just kind of like, you know, floops around as they do. That's funny. He's he's swimming. <laughs> Did it always run in the air? Even with the wings? Oh. I thought it doesn't fly. I'm pretty sure it flies. I'm 100% sure it flies. Um, normally. I can't test it right now because I can't do normal flying, but... Uh... He caught Alpha. I did. What mount was it we fell in love with that ran in the air? That was the wolf from Zareth Mortis. That was the... What do they call it? Like a lupine... Heartbond lupine. This thing used to fly and then they, they grounded it. Hang on a second. <laughs> Hold the phone. They didn't, did they? Did they give flying back to it? Because <laughs> I thought they... I remember they were going to take flying away from it. And I don't remember them backpedaling, but it sounds like the kind of thing they would do. <laughs> but we're dragon riding. <laughs> this is what I wanted. This was the thing that I specifically asked for. As I said, I don't care how goofy it looks... Just let all the flying mounts dragon ride. Find a way. And I'm happy that they have done that. <laughs> they took away the swimming animation. Is that a real cat? Katie, can you confirm? Are you animatronic? AI cat. <laughs> Actually, that's not out of the realm of technology anymore. Mm. It's out of the realm of my budget. Doesn't have wings, creates blue marks under it. Mm. Nice that they let every man have the option of flying. Yeah, I don't I don't remember much of what happened with the lupine, but this is this is exciting news for me. <laughs> Check Moonsaber Sparkles little runs in the air. Okay. Did the wing do wings come out of its shoulders? Because I noticed when I was dragon riding with it on here, it didn't it wasn't spitting at wings at all. And I could have sworn it used to have some. It doesn't have wings. Oh. Yeah, I'm just making stuff up then. Uh, cat's a keyboard toucher. Pressing buttons. No wings. Why did I think the priestess's moonsaber had wings? I'll, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm not the only one that thought that. Uh, yeah, Mandela effect, maybe. There's Bran. So here's stuff that we can buy with our with our, our resonance crystals. We have five hundred even though we haven't done a delve just because uh just because we, we redid a quest. Might be thinking of the Nightborn Tiger Mount, Arcane Wings? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I was supposed to talk to Bran. Yeah, progress on Bran is shared between characters. Lords of the about to leave the Isle can't of believe Dora the Brutus Sword Dora? does not dragon ride. <laughs> Five million gold mount, no dragon riding. <laughs> what the heck, Blizz? <laughs> Let my boy Grand Expedition Yak fly. I'm just happy about all of the regular flying mounts that are, like... <laughs> I don't I was really weirdly happy about the, um... The nether raids. These things. They look a little silly when they dragon ride, but I have a soft spot for these things. And I was like, that's an old model. It's not obvious how it's going to do dragon riding stuff. They're never gonna they're never gonna let it happen. But indeed, they do let it happen. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> uh it kind of stretches itself out in like a slightly wonky, flat, stiff seeming way when you're steering it. It's not the most natural looking thing. 
But that's, that's fine. At least it can do it. Otherwise, I would never do it. I would never ride it anymore. Doing better in BGs today? No wins. Couple second places. Handful of top fours. Which tribes and which which builds have you been enjoying in the new season? I haven't been playing singles, partly because I'm busy, but partly because I don't know what I'm doing and I feel stupid. <laughs> new BG patch made me feel big dumb. Check out Mim's head. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that yesterday. I forgot. Mim uh, Gabrielle Bellinazzo with a three-month resub. Thank you very, very much. Welcome back. Yeah, my vigor's still recharging over here. Beasts and dragons are really fun with their new cards. I had one good dragons game early, but it's <laughs> I haven't been able to replicate it ever since. <sighs> Miss quests. Quests were really fun. I think um I enjoyed I enjoyed quests and then also the first version of Buddies as well. Oh, is this seat for me? <laughs> How come I don't have a throne? What am I doing wrong with my life? You know, I could s well, it's probably because they're not very ergonomic, but I was thinking you could stream from one if you wanted to. <laughs> what is stopping you from making a throne in your own home for you to perch upon? Tell me another time. Thank you. It's considerate of you. Let's get down Grove to Warden. Then. Let, me, let me see. Uh, yep, sure does. Almost everything. The only thing that I could find that is a flying mount that did not have dynamic flying um, was the otherworldly audit carrier. The blue spectral otic from Thanks for the Carry. That one didn't. Oh, hey, my cute. Didn't have it. Yeah. And then Kuafon says it doesn't have it, but I'm pretty sure it actually does when you want when you mount up on it. It does. It's just not listed there. The red flying cloud didn't, but I feel like it's gonna get it. Same thing with the Wilderling. The Wilderling doesn't, but like it's weird because there's other Wilderlings that do. I think they're just like filling in gaps here. This is the only one that um that I'm pretty sure flies. On. Like, flies but doesn't dynamic fly. <sighs> Could make the throne out of swords, even. <laughs> the red seat and a ruby representative. I've been playing the chicken that damages and buffs. That is my favorite card art from the new Hearthstone BG patch, is the irate rooster. It's so funny. And the trusty pup's pretty good. Pretty cute, too. Hmm. Is there a broom that dragon flies? Yeah, the Eve's Ghastly Rider broom does, but I don't have it on PTR for some reason. Like on beta, my account doesn't include it. But yeah, basically every... Uh... Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, we were so close. <laughs> We've been in queue for 44 minutes. Baking cookies, listening to Hazel's stream. Best way to spend a Saturday. What sort of cookies are you baking? <laughs> Resist the urge to turn into the cookie monster. Cookies? Why have I gone to Stormwind? Have I done it for a good reason? I thought I didn't. <laughs> this is so much attention I pay. Who said cookies? Uh, that city I was in previously was the new capital in the War Within called Dornegal. Yeah, I'm just in Stormwind. <laughs> Take the portal from Stormwind to Dornegal. Maybe they're just telling me, maybe they're just showing me the, the portal. That's probably what's going on. Chocolate chip pecan celebrating finally getting a kitchen aid. Nice. Mm -hmm, sounds good. I don't know why I'm hungry. I've had breakfast twice today. <laughs> I got up kind of early and I knew I was going to need to eat something to function so I had like sad girl 5am yogurt and granola and then uh and then my boyfriend made me those later what am I doing I'm going to find the take the portal from Stormwind to Dornigal which implies that there is a portal from Stormwind to Dornigal is it upstairs that's Storm Shield or do they shuffle something around is <laughs> We've had second breakfast, yes, but what about third breakfast? It 
No, that's Bellameth. It is upstairs. Oh. Can we, like, move them? <laughs> Can we take portals that we don't use anymore and stick them in the farther away place so that we have, like, current expansion portals that we use all the time at the, like, at the ready? <laughs> Please. All right. Cinder Brew Meadery. We're back. I'm healing. Radiating flames. Oh, it's dispellable. Interesting. Okay. So I need to. So the the eyeball, the eyeball is the generic overhealing one. The the white one is the single target buff, which must make the other one the uh, cooldown reduction spell. I'm trying to get used to my premonition spell that is part of my oracle build. That's the big goal here today. We're not using any add-ons. <laughs> Poof Shadowlands to the back. I guess it, it might be jarring to have um to have portals that you're used to where they were move. You know, we've got muscle memory for how to run into certain places, and if you go if that portal is different, then I can see how that would be disturbing. But you know what else disturbs me is having to run up like four extra flights of stairs to get to the Dornicall portal. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have my Hurston set there. It's, I suppose it's not a big problem. Okay, so we're pulling the boss with some of this stuff, and in my experience, that could make all of this spicy. Do I want a single target thing? Do I want a spell cooldown reduction thing? Or do I want the overhealing buff? I think I want maybe the AoE buff, which is this one. It's the same one that I used before, but that's fine. Yeah, so my overhealing is being spread amongst my allies. It's kind of nice. Patrons start rowdy yell. So there's they're throwing beer. I'm grabbing well, I want to grab the mug. Now that I'm healing, I feel like I have an actual job to do. <laughs> uh, oh, probably these guys. So can I can I serve you a beer? Oh, I can serve them a beer. That's cute. That is very cute. Hex, we thanks for the raid. Welcome. Considering how much of a problem we have to run around in classic, I don't think the portals are that much. Yeah, this is true. It just feels silly to have a portal to, like, Crystal Song Dalaran that is, like, in the in the cutlery drawer of your proverbial kitchen when you're portal to the new thing that we're presumably going to be going back to all the time is in the crawl space of your proverbial kitchen. <laughs> I use the Crystal Song one way more than you would think. Mm-hmm. I actually use that one. I'm team move or bus. <laughs> what about how do we feel about moving um the Asuna portal? Mind you, this is all hypothetical. We're not actually gonna do anything about it. Um, but like we already have a, a Legion Dalaran Hearthstone toy, so I feel like we can really get away with um I need to be using different buffs so that I can get a bigger benefit. I think I'm specced into that talent. And uh, I've been using the same buff over and over again, so I need to start weaving in the other two so I can get a bigger benefit. Uh, Storm Shield Ashran, yeah, that's another good point. I think that one and that one and and Asuna are probably the big contenders because you have toy teleports that take you to valid nearby places, anyways. Nearby ish, anyway. As soon as it can go. <laughs> uh, I'm not RP walking. There's a debuff that slows you and your animation changes when you're slowed enough. It's the bee jelly. Oh, that person's so dead. Oh my goodness. These bee wranglers are casting bee steel wrath and I <laughs> can't deal. <laughs> So now they've got that blue buff on them, so the tank's taking big single target heals. I got an extra charge of premonition, and we can use it for this one. This is fun! I kinda like it! 
That extra charge was kind of sick for that emergency. I can dispel 30 stacks of Shredding Sting. Uh, rip Shadow Priest. Followed by... I uh, might be able to save the mage. <laughs> the B puns never stop. Unbelievably high tier pun game. I don't want to take away the portals. I want to move them to the back drawer. I want to take that extra floor and use it for the portals that we don't use as much because it's farther away. I'm not, I'm not trying to delete them. I just don't want the new one that I feel like I'm going to use more often to be so out of the way. <laughs> no changes. Thank you. I'm not in charge of changes. Who is Wenbrandt? What happens if I heal him? Nothing. Okay. Uh, do this. Hmm. Remove all portals forever. Walking only. What if your mount takes gas? <laughs> what if you had to feed? You had to fuel your mounts. If it's like an animal, you have to like actually feed them food. And if it's a if it's a machine, you have to put in like fuel that is craftable by professions. Um, good grief. Good lord. Good golly gee. And oh, hang on. Apotheosis. Very important. <laughs> And once you've flown far enough, it's like, your mount's like, dude, I'm hungry. I'm not carrying you a minute further until you get me a McRib or like whatever. <laughs> that would be perfect. Uh, like if we're ruining the game for fun. Um, someone should be listening. Someone could be listening. No ideas. Yeah, Vigor is kind of like gas. My Drake's out of, my, my bird's, my bird's out of gas. I think that was the the quote of the of early dragon flight but it regenerated you know you didn't have to restock it with a consumable <laughs> make it realistic put an oil spill in Vashir. we have um oil spills in goblin areas you seen what they did to the valley of spirits <laughs> sounds like encumberment in adventure games and i hate it I hate carry weight. Um, I, I've always been glad that WoW is not a game that tries to... Like, yeah, you have inventory slots, but they're not trying to force um, in, like a carry weight on you. So I want to use this one this time. And I want to use it on things that have cooldowns so that they have shorter cooldowns. So that's what I want to do. Yeah, I think it kind of worked. Well, you're running out of my line of sight because of two stairs. <laughs> Listen, I am a male night elf. I am taller than, like, a water slide. I should be able to see over that. <laughs> I was trying to think of a tall thing. Water slides are pretty tall by definition because if they're not tall, they're not good water slides. <laughs> <laughs> they just become water. It's just a lazy river. Not super tall. They're taller than me. <laughs> How many Jans Alpha invites do they give you to hand out? I don't got invites, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a weird dream about a lazy river. I think I'm craving Typhoon Lagoon, which is very strange because I've only been like once in my life and it's not a place that I feel like I would be super comfortable in but I think the vibe is just floating along down like a water pathway just for fun <laughs> and you know lazy rivers notoriously more relaxing than actual rivers filled with uh, large fish and or rocks yeah the water conveyor belt exactly I think that's kind of the vibe that I'm craving right now <laughs> I don't think I've been to a water park in a long time. I don't think I would enjoy it, but I do miss that part of childhood a little bit. <laughs> How's your Saturday going? It's all right. It's good. I got up early and I'm cranky about it, but I get to take the rest of the day to go visit my mom. And I'm looking forward to that. I've been a little, I've been a little cooked. <laughs> and 
I need a nice, nice little break. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. If this could, if everybody could stop taking egregious amounts of damage, <laughs> that would be fantastic. Ow. Ow. Oofy. Owie. I don't feel too bad about this after having seen Ellie <laughs> after having seen yesterday. Um, this dungeon is just like these are huge poles. This is not something that most people can um, can get through in there. I feel like there's ambushes or something. Like extra stuff happens. Um, I don't think the tank is pulling like this on purpose. I think it's just kind of like a an accident. Uh, we had a rogue chi torpedo or something. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, are we finishing this pole? I guess so. Blood DK. OP. <laughs> No, this is a normal leveling dungeon. <laughs> I really like healing stuff like that as long as nobody's mad. Um, it's, it's people if, it's, if people start getting heated, then I'm not having fun anymore. But as long as we're all willing to just kind of like try things, I'm I'm usually cool. <laughs> Here for the spice. How does Holy Priest feel so far? I'm having a lot of fun with it. I knew I shouldn't have released. I say as I do it again. still in combat with all that trash, but I feel like we are going to finish it. Mom is staying with me while she renovates her house. Maybe I should go in the other room and visit her BRB. Aww. I can already see. I guess I don't know if Archon is going to be like my hero talent spec because they haven't implemented the other one. But if, or not Archon, Oracle, but if I do end up playing as Oracle, my minigame is going to be how many premonitions can I actually remember to get off in a fight and <laughs> do so vaguely accurately. <laughs> Love doing dungeons blind. Mm. Oh, my head exploded. <laughs> what? Is this... So before I had the little eyeball and it was from the hero power and... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's some crazy, crazy uh, priest visuals over here. That is a look. Okay, I think we've, I think we've come down. I think we're back to just the eyeball. I couldn't pinpoint exactly what was going on. That looked like more than one graphic on my forehead at once. <sighs> I was outside for a walk this morning. It was so lovely and beautiful. It was like sunny and birds and like not super hot, but just like a nice light breeze and warm spring temperatures. And I was like, I could just, if I had like a yard or like a quiet park or something nearby, I would just sit outside and like watch birds and beetles for like <laughs> four hours and be perfectly happy. Uh, but you know, not always, not always time. My friend went into a Rise 11 key blind yesterday and got a mount from the quantum thing. Man. Mm. It was also there when you were just mobbing with Smite. Well, I had the eyeball graphic. I don't remember this big triangle looking thing. Um, I don't think it's because of restitution. I don't know. I don't know what that graphic is either. The little squiggly one on the right. Would you hold giant beetles? Um, I think I'm more likely to hold a giant beetle than a spider, actually. I think beetles are kind of cute. I don't think they would benefit from being held by me and vice versa, but I think they're fun to watch. Uh, I'm going to try and clean up a few barrels here so that... There is less to dodge later. Drew inspiration from Velen. Hmm. This dungeon is Cinder Brew Meadery. I think the bee riding is pretty pretty on point. There's it's a it's a meadery, so they're making alcohol out of honey over here. And also apparently IPAs. <laughs> 
Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> I, I tried to type T-Y, and for a moment I mistyped T-R-Y. Just leaving a dungeon at the very end of it. Try! <laughs> you can do better than that. Mm. Flashback to what's her face in that one BFA dungeon. Mm. I feel like I know which one you mean. I'm gonna find out how big of a baby I'm being. I'm gonna set a stopwatch. Do we still have a stopwatch? Yeah, show stopwatch. How far does it take to get from the Dornigal portal to the front of the portal room with, let's just say, no movement buffs? I won't use my feather or anything. How much travel time am I actually talking at like a standard run? I won't go all the way to the bottom of the tower, just like the door. Okay, so it's 17 seconds at a standard movement speed from the main floor. And then I guess like 30-ish seconds from the actual like tower base. Yeah. I'm probably going to avoid doing that whenever I can. <laughs> it's twice as far, basically. Mm. Remember, I tried to type man. I typed man yesterday. The tank was like, what? <laughs> However, um, that's only if you're just auto-running. Most classes are going to have some kind of a sprint or movement speed that they can use for this for this kind of thing. They're going to move like Ashran? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna. I was just I was just dreaming. But now I know where the um, where the portal room is in Dornigal. It's kind of on the north side here in the big foundation hall. Hmm. Uh, I'm not in dungeon key right now. I should take a break is what I should do. Earthen teleporter. Oh, I used the Stormwind teleport and I needed to use the Earthen one. I gotcha. I'm going to be right back. And when I come back, maybe we'll get in queue for another one. Okie dokie. Let's see. Kitty cat has adopted the chair. Um, okay, I couldn't tell if I was muted. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Come on. Oh, I know. I got you though. I got you. <laughs> No, she's the streamer now. I think that I think that that meow was her version of I'm calling my agent. <laughs> Kinlay, thank you for the eight month reset. Very much appreciated. Oh, all right, let's sit in queue, but it may not pop because I want to specify the other dungeon. It keeps putting me in Cinderbrew Meadery, and I want to see the Rookery, just because we've done Meadery twice, and I haven't seen Rookery yet, so. Let's queue for that, and then in the meantime, we can carry on questing and maybe make it as far as like a delve or something. <clears throat> Teleporter, good. Oh, there is, a, there is a thingy. This is nice. I was just thinking to myself yesterday, oh man, there's no more seat of the aspect for you to like dynamic fly off the top of. But there is. <laughs> I, just, uh, I just wasn't using it. What is um his dynamic flying mount? Oh, is it a priestess's moon saber? What else could it be? Is it a sapphire panther? A mana ray? A moth? Sin runner Blanche. <laughs> Sin runner Blanche can do it. The slime serpent. You, I could I could spend all day on this. Oh. I love the ones that, that take off with like an enormous jump. I feel like that's really fun. Are you underground? I don't... F I guess the city is kind of built into the wall, isn't it? Into the the wall? The cliff! <laughs> the mountain! Hmm. Dratna said the unicorns were extra silly and dynamic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, uh, they, they're, they prance through the air. They're, they're running. I think the boost is pretty good too. 
I haven't done this quest yet. I, this is a different direction than I went in on my first character. I guess there are some cutscenes. Complete the Earth Crawl Mines Delve near Freywood Village. They give you access to Bran and the Arachnophobic Spelunker's Scepter. What's interesting is um, I had Bran in that first delve that I tried, even though I had never done this quest. So it doesn't seem like it's like strictly necessary. Also, I need to go unlock that plate path so I have it forever for my warband. <laughs> Sometimes. Sky Gallop. Moose Rescue. I went to visit a different Moosey and on my break and he was like he's he's real sleepy. A Dalaran sewer turtle? Excuse? Here, we'll just do random random favorite mount. I think that should pull up all kinds of different ones that we can see. Dalaran sewer turtle? That is what that treasure says. Oh no, the rat! Did you do this? A single dead Dornish pike fish lies nearby. Okay, no, no, no. The turtle is trying to help the rat to recover. I'm so sorry. This is a good Samaritan turtle. Um, how could I, how could I think this of you? He gazes up at you and then looks to the fish. Maybe with a greater supply, he can help the rat. Okay, so I need to go find five Dornish pike. I had them on, um, on... A different character. I had them on Hazel. Can I just mail them to Grumpus? Probably, right? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> it's because I remember fishing for the sewer rat. He's and since this is a big part of my a big part of my my life. <laughs> uh, this is the BlizzCon Yeti transmog. Um, I'm gonna send Grumpus five pike. What main should I play in War Within? Correct answers only. I feel like you're a paladin. <laughs> I feel like you're a paladin. Um, but I also feel like there's not a huge reason for you to like stick to a main for the whole expansion because of how many things are gonna work so nicely. You know, cross uh, cross stuff. Okay, we're sending Grumpus. Five of these Dornish Pike, which we incidentally- Oh no, I don't have Dornish Pike, I have Dilly Dally Dace. <laughs> that is a different fish, that's not gonna help me. Okay, um, Grumpus now needs to go on a new mission to learn fishing and then go fish up some pike. This is very important. I, I haven't found any transferable currencies. I tried already, I wanted to see that too. The only reference that I have right now is the what Blizzard posted in their Warbands in their Warbands blog post. Classes Earthen can be confirmed. I think they announced them at BlizzCon. I think it's everything except for uh what Demon Hunter and Druid and Evoker. I'd have to double check. Haven't been able to catch stream lately. Have you done any Dells? Yeah, we did one yesterday. I'm gonna do another one today. I'm getting a little bit sidetracked because um, I want to, I want to, I want to rescue this dead rat <laughs> that I found in in the war within. But uh, yeah, delves after that. Curious how they explain Earth and Death Knights. Let me let me Google the Earth and Classes thing while I'm waiting for this loading screen. Earth and Classes War Within. Earthen can choose to be DK Hunter, Mage, Monk, Paladin, Priest, Rogue, Shaman. More items. Uh, warlock or Warrior. So that is everything except for Demon Hunter, Druid, and Evoker. I'm pretty certain. I don't know what the lore behind the Death Knight thing is, but I don't know. We have, <laughs> we have all kinds of Death Knights. <laughs> that one said Bolvar was picky. I think my loading screen is uh, borked. Dilly Dally Dace, like Ma Walker Molly Wobble, the Mecha No Mistbeaver Monk. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna restart the alpha. <laughs> Shocked they didn't release them with Druid, considering they're trying to bring Druid to all races. Are they trying to bring Druid to all races? I missed that. That would be exciting. I feel like I could benefit from being, like, run over by a lawnmower. 
Not like not like a lawnmower that's mowing the lawn, but just like some big tires. <laughs> uh, tiny gnome laser chicken would be pretty epic. Molly Wobble's my favorite character in the Hazel character universe. She's only level 18. I haven't even played her. Gotta appreciate the irony that a dwarf made of living earth can't be druid. They said somewhere eventually they wanted all classes and all races. Oh. True. Alright, I'm gonna not tab out this time. Just in case that changes anything. Come on, Grumpus. Justice for Molly Wobble. I think the big question that is stopping me from leveling Molly Wobble, the Mechanum Mistweaver Mawwalker. The Mawwalker Molly Wobble, the Mechanum Mistweaver Mug. The big thing that is in her way is what am I gonna do with a Mistweaver? I, I got I got nothing. <laughs> uh, saw your video. Amazing how many quality of life features we'll have. Any more that you think are missing? Quality of life features? I mean, we can always just, like, invent things, but... It's not exactly quality of life. It's more interface. But I want them to take another pass at nameplates. <laughs> Be the meta. Mistweave, obviously. Mm. Hi, kid. Dress her up in fun outfits. Healy spins. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so fixated on whether or not I'll be able to like actually play it. Because most of my elts I don't really play. They're not for anything. It's not like I know how to play my demon hunter or <laughs> even my death, death knight. I did keys on her. Who's to say? Um, but yeah, I guess I'm just ha I'm so happy with Holy Priest. I don't really feel like I want to do a bunch of other healers. And I feel like if I was going to, Rester Druid would probably be before Mistweaver. In build details would be nice. I think I could play without add-ons then. I would be very curious to see if they would ever do that. Because I feel like they certainly have the ability to do it. I think it's been a choice for them to not <laughs> do a dungeon and realize you dislike Mistweaver. Melee thing is more chill than it seems. Oh, I forgot there was a melee thing. Maybe that's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> I know you just said that it's more chill than it seems, but... I like standing at 40 yards from things so I can see them coming at me for like a while and then have some time to think about what I'm going to do about it. <laughs> oh, Lavender Clouds, thank you very much for the tip. Let me let me go pull up the, the message for it. Let me check my, my Streamlamps dashboard. Aww. <laughs> do, 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 do. Thanks for all the comfy streams. Aw, shucks. Thank you. Pushing us towards pure melee and war within. I don't know if they're going to let me back in on Grumpus. I think Grumpus might be broken. Katie, thank you for the 40-month reset. Has it been that long? We're finally thawing out up here. Glad to hear it. Holy smokes. 40. What class should I play? I leave my fate in your hands. There's always the randomizer, which I prefer because then I feel like if I pick wrong, you won't be mad at me. <laughs> There's the WoW character ran alt randomizer. You can use that to pick a new class. Thinking of RP poses would be a great feature. Choosing which pose you do in AFK and how they pose in the login screen. Mm. You don't even like being 25 yards away in Evoker. Yeah, that was... Oh, I think it just moved. <laughs> I think it moved. Maybe I should just have some faith and leave it. Coming up in four years soon. Surreal. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, I have a space heater. Just making one small part of me hot. The rest of my body's still cold. Yeah. I will, like, snuggle up against, like, a hot water bottle to try to warm up. And my extremities will be both sweaty and cold. But I'll be, I'll make my core so warm that I'll get, like, ill. <laughs> There's no evening it all out. If they made an AFK pose, mine would just be slash sleep to lay on the floor. Oh, man. <laughs> just pull out, a, pull out a bed. One of those aromatherapy socks I like to sleep with. Tell me more about that. What is that? What do you mean? One of my um one of my plushies has like scent in it, which sounds weird, but it's kind of nice. Um and I sleep with that one sometimes. I just like sniff it to remind myself that I'm in bed because that plushie lives in bed, so it's like a if you can smell this smell, you're not anywhere else in your life where things are scary. Um some clear rice you zap in the microwave, nice and toasty. Oh, I used to have one of those that was like, it smelled like lavender and it was a uh, animal form. <laughs> I can't believe we've known each other since we were 24. Has it really been 36 years? Oh man, <laughs> kind of need that. 
There's a hollow taco sale in case you have nail needs. Mm. My nails are naked right now. I got... <laughs> they're, uh... You know, actually, for, for being not painted, they don't look too bad. I'm... Well, okay, they're a little chipped. A little peeling. They're not, they're not awful. They're shiny. <laughs> they're not broken or bleeding, which is, which is a plus. I, um... My hands have had a bad go of it recently. I pinched a part of my hand in a plastic buckle on my dog's harness... And then just yesterday, I broke an elastic band when I was trying to wrap something up and put it away. And it snapped around and whipped my finger so hard it gave me a welt. <laughs> um, and I'm a big baby, so I was sad about that for like an hour. <sighs> a little sloth plush like that. It smells like lavender and clean laundry. Aww. What's your all-time favorite mount? I don't know if I have one. How do you pick an all-time favorite mount? I, I ride lots of different mounts. I think in, in lists of favorite mounts, I usually prop up the Ghastly Charger and the... Can't remember. Mm. <laughs> the family upstairs is uh, having, a, having a time. Spell Tome. Yeah, Spell Tome's good too. I, I should know this more because I feel like I just... Man, this loading screen. I feel like I'm... I wonder if I can log into my other alpha character or if um, if I did something... I was... <laughs> Grumpus was about to save the sewer rat. Oh, signature favorite scent, perfume. I stopped being able to deal with perfume. I used to really like it and I had... um. Oh, I forget the name of my favorite one. I found one that I really liked. But I can't deal with um I can't deal with heavy artificial scents anymore. I am that person that is buying unscented everything because stuff like gets to me um, or gives me headaches or migraines or whatever. Plus, I have family members that are similarly sensitive, so it's just easier to not wear scent at all. But I used to have what was it called? I I remember I couldn't get it in Canada, so I didn't I didn't buy any more of it because I couldn't. Um. It's a very subjective thing because everything smells a little bit different on everybody and everybody likes different things. It's going to drive me nuts that I can't remember the name of it, though. Post-lockdown made me sad because I have a small perfume collection. I actually, I feel like I wore more perfume at the beginning of lockdown than I did otherwise because I was so worried about being offensively scented in public. I wouldn't wear perfumes in public, but then I would wear them when I was just hanging out by myself at home because it was fun. It was fun to put it on and I liked the smell on me. The weirdo that holds my breath to rush through the perfume section of department stores. I don't think that's weird. I think that they affect a lot of people. Hmm. I do like the smell of it, though. I have this weird affinity for the smell of Shoppers Drug Mart. They have, like, a perfume section, and it kind of makes the whole store smell a little bit like that. And for whatever reason, I really like that smell. <laughs> Work in an office. Don't wear it on those days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kitty cat, I think Grumpus is broken. I don't think they're letting me back in on him today. I think I gotta try and log into something else. Because we made it to the login screen, I'm pretty sure. Can't help it. What was the name of the one that I like? I have a little bottle of it still. But it doesn't have a label on it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I remember the ones that I wore when I was like 19, but I feel like different thing, different scents make more sense at different points in your life. Uh, Aridim, thank you for the 22 month reset, kitty. Hi. I think she's forgiven me for picking her up. Okay, Grumpus is ripped. Um, I think we're gonna get back on Hazel and I guess maybe try the other delve that way. We're supposed to boycott Loblaws shoppers in May. Understand why it's going to be tricky. I haven't heard that yet. I should look into that because that's usually where I get my like, like toothpaste and stuff. Although it's not like you're buying toothpaste every month. I'm sure I could buy it somewhere else for a while. <sighs> uh, <laughs> Rip Crumpets. Zero seven. Uh, the initial tab of the Warband Bank is 1,000 gold. Let me go look at the other ones because I had just found the bank, didn't I? Pretty sure, yeah. Bank's right over here. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's 1k for your first tab. Don't work for Blizzard anymore? Not in this alpha. How do you like it so far? I'm having a lovely time. It looks it looks 
pol like surprisingly polished for this early in alpha. Things seem to work well. The hero talents feel fun. Delves are pretty intriguing. Um, and the warbands features are the thing that I'm most excited about. Yeah, so then tab two is going to be 25. I know tab four is 500k, and then tab five is two and a half mil. I don't know what tab three is. I forget. 100k maybe? Reminding me I never did a Lamage Towers after it was brought back. I'm a three tab gamer. <laughs> I don't know how much room I'm really realistic. Oh, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to need more room than I think. But assuming that all the trade mats stack really highly, which I know that this... <laughs> what is this? 13 individual dilly-dally days that are not stacking together at all is not a good sign. Um, but assuming that we continue to have like 1,000 stack sizes for materials and stuff, I'm sure I can get away with not all of the tabs. Let's go poke around. Actually, I think it was it was not that far off from the main quest. I think if we follow this quest that I had just started on Grumpus, it'll send me back into that area. Also, before I go, I should get fishing on this character so that I can go get those fish that I wanted. So you tell me another time. And then we will pick this back up because they're you just going to... Yeah, exactly. That was basically where we'd that. just been. Hmm. Item stacking always ruined my worship. Might make farming mogs across warbands a bit expensive. Compound gold would be nice. I was a little disappointed to see that gold is not either straight account bound or, failing that, pullable like the other currencies look like they will be. I thought that would have been nice. Um, the warband bank is, I guess, better than mailing your currency. Because you don't have to know where it's going, you just have to keep up with depositing it into your warband bank, and you'll have the toy to kind of do that with. Uh, before I go, fishing training, fishing training. Who around here? We have other profession trainers. Mining, leatherworking, skinning, tailoring. I haven't found any guards yet. I don't know if they've done those yet. Um, but presumably if I keep... Well, I was going to say, if I keep wandering around, I'll find it. But sometimes fishing trainers are maybe closer to water? Question mark? <laughs> Duplicate digits of daily daily days. <laughs> Died of the first wave of eyes because it got close. Died three times to the last two mobs in the first wave. The healer magic tower. The first wave is the worst part, I swear. And like, if you get at all like frazzled, as I definitely did, it can be really difficult to get back through it again, even if you had it on farm before. Guard walked right by you, didn't know if it had dialogue. Uh, that guy does not have any dialogue. This person has some. Yeah, these guys- okay, so there are guards they don't have- they don't have finding dialogue, though. Yeah, it's the alpha map. It's, uh, doesn't have the art skin over it yet. <sighs> New type of G's for engineers to farm. Hmm. Mm. Can't mage tower at all. First pull be my best and then I fall apart. The th one thing that made it easier for me to cope with the Mage Tower being, like, the Mage Tower challenge was the fact that, aside from stream, <laughs> which I turned off chat for, nobody was, like, waiting for me to do it. There was no, no, like, it's not like I'm in a five-man dungeon and everybody just needs Hazel to get her life together so that she can heal this last boss so that we can all go home. Vortex Pinnacle flashbacks. Um, in the Mage Tower, because it's just me, if I wipe, I've wasted nobody's time but my own. It's also the same thing that I feel like makes me able to cope with Dark Souls and Souls-like games. I can't do it, don't get me wrong, I still get tilted off the face of the moon, and um, I, I do need to take breaks from them sometimes. But it helps that I'm not holding anybody else up. If I feel like I am letting someone else down, or that they're getting frustrated with me, or that they're, they're feeling like they have to wait for me, the fishing trainer is by water. I'm a genius! Wow! Uh, that's the thing that's more tilting, is if I'm worried about letting someone down. Hi. Can I learn how to fish, please? Thank you. Should we fish here a little bit, just to find out what kind of fish there are? Easiest healer for the mage tower? I did it on... That's weird. 
I chose to heal on a Resto Druid because of their utility spells. I felt were highly useful in that challenge. But I did that at the end of Shadowlands. I don't know if that's still the same kind of tier list as uh, oh, as it is nowadays. But even though I was a Holy Priest main and I kind of wanted to do it on Holy Priest, Resto Druid just had better utility. Um, that Holy Priest and it was horrid. Yeah. Heard Pally is the easiest. Mm -hmm. I could see that being the case as well. Why can't? Why am I not catching anything? Is it just the pool? Is it fishing in general? Is it just not implemented all the way? I'm fishing. I'm looting it. Yeah, nothing. Nothing doing. Let me go try fishing from like the actual ocean over here. Maybe we can find like a pool or something. Yeah, it could be that no new fish were added. I mean, we got dilly dally days. <laughs> but I will say, I re I received those dilly dally days by taking some herbs and salvaging them, which was supposed to give me a cooking reagent. And I suppose Dilly Dally Dace is a cooking reagent, but uh, I don't think it's working quite right yet because they don't even stack with each other. <laughs> oh, hang on. Let's overload this crystallized Michael Bloom and find out what happens. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Ooh. There's a portal. And I got two crystalline powder. Uh, if you visit Veldraken, Flying Trainer to Rostrum, you can unlock your dynamic flying abilities. I'll check the Rostrum in Dornigal, but I went to Veldraken yesterday and I did everything I could and it wouldn't work for me. Um, I'll try that again, though, because I desperately want them. <laughs> Imported me here, but I, I can't loot anything here. Same as the Order notes. Yeah, exactly. Alpha, new fish, other gatherables weren't in right away. Hmm. Oh, for last Alpha, yeah. So much days from herb. Got it. So there was a rostrum. It's also a trading post. There's the rostrum. Uh, void. Can you choose both Void River and Archon here in Talonstown? So Archon isn't implemented. There's nothing, nothing doing. None of these do anything yet. You can choose them, but they don't have any effect. Trainer near the rostrum. I thought you told me the trainer was at the rostrum. <laughs> Um. Mm. There is a should be like an NPC or something over here. Although I do now have the flight path to get back to Veldraken from the Waking Shores because I like walked there yesterday off stream. So there is a trainer here. Um, and I've talked to them yesterday, and it's this didn't help me at all. <laughs> what is this? with an alpha. Um, yeah. I can, like, I can, I can try and, I can take 20 minutes to go back to Veldraken and try and do it there, but I, I'm not super confident because I've tried a lot of different workarounds and nothing's been doing. But, uh, I'm also not doing anything. Well, no, I was gonna go ca try and catch a fish. That's right. <laughs> Heading out. Have a great day. See you later. Might be only the Dragon Isles once. Did you try this this morning? Because there's been changes to a lot of stuff. But let me let me try. Let me go let me go take a look. We can rule it out if nothing else. Um the portal was up in the hall, which was like here. I've seen streamers do it today. Okay. Alright, I'll try it. <laughs> I'm I'm game. I would I would love to have more vigor. <sighs> So this is our Stormwind. I will check the Veldraken portal, but I have a feeling it's still not open, so we're probably gonna have to take the boat again. But, you know, <laughs> it's not like I'm doing anything else. I would like to do another delve. Mm, so take a look at the Veldraken portal. Maybe it's fixed. Uh, no good on the Veldraken portal, so we're gonna have to go take the boat. The waters flow again. I think they're going to give six figure by default. I think they just haven't implemented it yet. Bella Meth portal, maybe? Mm, it's going to be farther because I won't have any of the flight paths. So I would have to dragon ride all the way from that edge out to Veldraken. It would take ages. Um, I think I think the I think the boat's going to be faster. I know you have to wait for it, but <sighs> otherwise I'm going to be like walking up hills. <laughs> The boat, the boat looks like it's coming in.
This is the Rugged Dragon Scale. I can't believe this is the third time I've taken this boat on the war with an elf. <laughs> I keep going back to Dragonflight. Dragon Racing Base on the Tall Spire. That's like almost as far. I think I, I have a flight path because I walked there yesterday. Also, I couldn't get up to the top of the Tall Spire because A, I didn't have the vigor to like... I mean, I guess I could have saved up the vigor and done it. But I tried to take the ferry and the ferry was completely broken. Uh, don't you have your dungeon portals? I have dungeon portals to... Shadowlands. Don't know why I don't have the other ones, but that's what we got. <sighs> it's it's strange. This has, has some of my account data, but not all of it. It's a bit wonky. Yeah, we did a delve yesterday. Hate how big the new spellbook is. I think it'll look better once it's um I think it'll look Straight better once they've added more texture to it. It is huge, but I think I prefer fewer large pages than lots of them that you have to tab through a bunch. You can't copy characters in Alpha right now, later on. The only tiers accessible for Dells were one and two. I did the taller I did tier two and it was not terribly difficult. I think it should be scalable wasted space. It's not something you leave open all the time, though. You know. It's not something you really go into very often. I mostly do it when I'm just, like, setting up my bars. Torgas, but reverse, like you go downstairs instead of up? A little bit. Hmm. It didn't, there was a sort of a Torghasty power mechanic, but it only had one power that I saw yesterday. I like, I, I found two of the powers in the run and they were both the same power twice. If only they would update default nameplates. Oh, I'm sure someone is either trying or has tried. Does it bother you that the casting hand is moving from right to left, but the pages are turning in the opposite direction? I know it's magic, but like, if I was magic, I would want my magic to work the other way. <laughs> <laughs> it does now! <sighs> Hmm. Gonna play some dungeons? I did one. Um, I did one. It took 46 minutes for the queue to pop. And then when we tried to log back into the character to get back into queue and also to go fishing, the, uh, the login screen wouldn't let me back into that holy priest that I had set up. So I think we might be done for today. I don't think we can get, we don't, I don't think we have time to get into another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just alpha queue times. Um, the tank was the first thing in queue. We were down two DPS for a long time. It's just a uh, yeah. It's just it's just alpha stuff. Let's go get onto that flight path. <laughs> Although, if I'm in the Waking Shores already, I wonder if I can just go get on that ferry because it was pretty funny. Although I don't want to break another character, but it might be kind of worth it just because it was. I got a kick out of it. Got the best uh, deals. But yeah, they can. Here, take me, take me like here. Have a good one. Um, the console script was not working for me yesterday. I haven't tried it again today, but like, uh, people have given me like thirty fixes. <laughs> let me, let me look. Have you tried making a moon kid sacrifice? New embellishments in the war within. Let's take a look. 
New embellishments for crafting gear, including several jewel crafting options, as well as armor and weapon embellishes. We have found a new embellishment tag, suggesting that the most powerful special effects will be limited, similar to Dragonflight. Some of them are a work in progress. Okay. Armor patch. <laughs> Does something awesome. <laughs> Provides the following property. Mysterious spell. Capture starlight. Yeah, it seems seems fine. <laughs> TNT does something awesome. Yeah, it's it's pretty early yet. Okay. Just for fun. So there is at the Ruby Life Pools, there is a rostrum and presumably a trainer, which was the, the fix that was currently queued up for us to work on. But like, you know, it's hard to get up there. Like, my Drake's tired. <laughs> but however, there is a fairy. And let's find out if they fixed this since yesterday. I feel like they oh, will not have done so yet. Cleanse. I'd like to go to the Ruby Life Shrine. Because normally, this guy just flies you up to the top of the tower. Fair let's see if he does it. And, and up we get. Up we get. Oh, we're looping around. And we're back up. And we're looping. Wait, where are we going? <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, we're looping again. And are we gonna get dropped off? Nope! <laughs> Through the tower! Didn't specify which tower, huh? And we are headed vaguely Feldrazisy. <laughs> Oh no, it's a rock wall. What are we gonna? Oh. Look, Valdraken, as seen from beneath. Funnily enough, I think there's some kind of underground lake going on because at various points, um, there's a breath bar. <laughs> yeah, there we go, I'm drowning. What a beautiful city. <laughs> oh, another breath part. <laughs> Who needs physics? I am physics. Hulska Straz has been waiting by the Ruby Life Shrine long enough. He's out of here. And then it and then it loading screens. And then it actually dumps you at a pretty reasonable place, not too far from Veldraken. So that's how I got there yesterday. <laughs> Drowning at a flight point would be wild. <sighs> and that's why you let me into alphas to find all of the big problems. That are definitely relevant and certainly going to impact people in the war within. I, um... Whatchamacallit, I... I bug reported it already. I issue reported it, so rest assured they know. I'm sure they're- I'm sure they've got their top people on it. <laughs> Solved Alpha when you found the bench. So, trainer. Transformation train? Dreaming. How do I customize my Drake? Now. Talk about something else. Back to my Not garden. this trainer, then. This one? Studious Drake Watcher? You should no. Know. What about over here? Dragon Riding Trainer. Please. My wares were made with knowledge. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, this should do it. It's only been two days without all of the points, but it's been two days too long. And then you can specify if you want Whirling Surge or Lightning Rush, and then whether or not you want to turn on Ride Along. I drowned in my garrison back in the day, so <laughs> anything can happen. Alright, sick. And Go now, I'm pretty sure I left my Hearthstone in Dornigal, so we should be able to just, like, zip right back. 
But this is great because it means that if I want to check out and see what like Whirling Surge looks like on various mounts, I have the three vigor to spend. And also all of it comes back way faster. I was trying to get footage of different mounts dynamic riding yesterday and I kept having to like sit and wait for like minutes for it all to come back. <sighs> Love the animations on the mounts. Excited to kill again in season four, but Ruby Life Pool's not ready for that. Ugh, I'm lucky that I only need to do it in so far as I need to get the new Keystone Master mount. But I don't need the dungeon portals. I have those already from season one, so I don't need to push all the way to tens if I don't want to. I wonder how the tuning piece will be. All right, now for the real problems. Are we able to catch fish in the ocean? <laughs> oh boy. I'm excited for game music eventually. Well, this is kind of neat. Little train track area. I guess we haven't just like gone out to like explore really. Mm. Let's try a little fishing. Some seagulls, love the map. Can I catch fish over here? Does your raft work? Let's find out. Oh. All right, it was just that area or at least I can all I can say is that fishing in town was not working, but fishing out here has given me a Dornish pike, which is good. I need that. It's also a green quality fish. Can be bought and sold in the auction house. Common fish, native all water throughout Kazalgar. You're missing a word in your sentence. Should I report that? <laughs> Dornish. I can figure out which word. Uh, Hazel, prime type typo finder. Raft toys, raft toys, that's right. Anglers raft. fishing raft. Oh, requires Pandaria fishing. What about the um, the dinghy? I don't have the Tuscar dinghy. I think I'm I think I'm out of luck on rafts. <laughs> no fish, only soggy pocket lint. Hmm. That one didn't give me a fish. I wonder why. If no Tuscar, who fish? Uh, the Angler's Raft required Pandaria fishing. Unless unless I'm thinking of the wrong raft. I can't use raft. No good. It's strange. Now I'm back to not catching fish. I wonder if the fish are kind of like semi-implemented and every time I catch a Dornish pike it's like oh here you go that's a real fish but when when I like catch something that's not that it just vanishes used it in Legion no problem I think it's because my character doesn't have the Pandaria fishing skill um it, it's this is a, a copy character. If you ever learned how to fish from a Pandaren fishing trainer, you would then be able to use the raft anywhere. <laughs> this is the boat. I don't have that. I looked already. Uh, this this particular account doesn't have it. Maybe they haven't added in the trash yet. So when you get that, you don't get anything. It's curious that I would be getting. Am I getting? I'm not even getting skill ups though. I don't think. Uh, I'm I'm Dragon Elves fishing one. Getting the Dornish Pike didn't give me or not Dragon Elves, pardon me, Kazlagar fishing one. Yeah, it looks like uh fishing is in a pretty early stage here. Man, I need five Dornish Pike. <laughs> I need five of them. I was hoping I would get them. So that I could um so I can go help the rat, because I wanna know. <laughs> I'm not using any add-ons at all. There's no add-ons that I'm running on, on alpha. 
Maybe your gnome is just not a good fisher. Try it with barnacles. Mm. Oh, man. All right. Let me see. I want to go. You know what I want to do is I want to go try a delve. I want to go try the delve that's in this area. Um, I figure we run through that and then maybe look into. Hang on. There's a treasure over here. Look into wrapping up a shade early today. There might be a world in which I <laughs> get some sleep before I go out later today. I'm pretty toast. Uh, oh man, extra vigor, so good. Oh, they're bloated seagulls. Those do not look like seagulls. Just because they have yellow feet does not- We have seagull models! What happened here? Why are the seagulls raptors? Nap is good. Going out later sounds like a date night. And now I'm going to go visit my mom. <laughs> um, Lionel. Okay, I went too far, far up. What is... That was an herb. Who is Lionel? <gasps> Buddy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hang on. I'm working on it. Please help me. I'm a magical fish from Dalaran. I knew he was familiar. I survived the crash and now I'm free. Free to flounder here on these rocks, apparently. I don't want my freedom to end this way. Please put me back in the water. Why do I feel like it's so mean to implement Lionel before the fish in the water? Like, the first thing <laughs> that they do when they're building the war within Alpha is to create this character that is asphyxiating to death. So we can start doing that as rapidly as possible. <laughs> like, I know it's a game, but like... Did you just kick me? Use my body like a sports ball? I guess you were trying to help. Let's do it again. Um, I'm still weak. I don't think I can swim very far. The tiniest wave could wash me back up on the shore. Maybe a good meal would help? Hint, hint. Uh, well, you don't want my dilly dally dace. Or my single Dornish pike. I don't even know where my Dornish pike went. Oh, there it is. Sounds like one of those Victorian cats. Yeah, he, he wants something, but um, I don't... It's not clear to me what it is that he wants. <laughs> this fish is so needy. <gasps> oh, wow, I can't breathe. Oh, wow, you're just kicking me. Uh, looks like Hawaiian pizza. Huh? I need to target something first. Hmm. I want to help him, but I don't know what he wants to eat. And also, it's possible that because fish aren't fully implemented yet, that uh, he just he we're kind of out of luck. Is this a delve? Mm, no. Although, come on, there's a minecart going out of there. I'm walking in. I'm going inside. This is awesome looking. Do 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 do. It's a wall. <laughs> Wish there was another fi major fishing character like Peggle. Okay. <sighs> I just want to try the delve. I feel like that goes to the ringing deeps. Yeah, maybe. Have you guys tried moving her out of the water? Oh, no, they put her in the water on purpose. Okay. <laughs> Favorite fishing character is the one that gives you Trashy the raccoon when you get his renowned a friend. Was that one of the Legion Fisher friend reps? Or was there something else? Complete earth crawl mines delve. Okay. Let's give it a go. They should keep the Star Wars text scroll instead of cutscenes. I should use it instead of uh, instead of YouTube videos. You know why? Why record yourself saying the words when you could just take your notes and then have them scroll on the screen over like a video of a cat dancing or something, and then just shove that on YouTube and call it a day. Let's oh. rescue these folks. No listening, only reading. These webs. 
All right, this is a new delve. I haven't done this one yet. Can I get in the cart? Oh man, this is mean. <laughs> Don't step in those webs. The rubies might pop out if you do. Don't step in the webs. Nuri beans might pop out if you do. Okay. <laughs> Delves like Torghast. They're they're kind of like sniff and seeks. Meets. I don't know. There's not enough mobs for it to be Torghast. Torghast had like had like I mean there are mobs there, but a lot of it is just kind of here. We'll, we'll see as we go through it. This is a, a low version of it as well. Um, this has got to be either... I don't remember moving. selecting a tier, but it's got to be either one or two. This feels like scenarios. Yeah! I think that's a very fair comparison. They're behind us! Watch out! Didn't appreciate how good Torghast was when it was Kurt. Yeah. When it first came out, I didn't appreciate Torghast at all. Oh, I love it now. I still don't appreciate it. Oh, that's fair. I would um go nuts playing a version of Torghast that's literally just the first Torghast over again. No, like, you know, no mandatory having to play it for Legendary Dust or anything like that. That, that part was silly. But um, just like the actual game mode itself with a ton of cosmetics, but I want the entire thing reskinned to be not depressing. Um, I want like I don't know something fun, something pretty, gardens or like gilded halls or uh, you know like a uh, what else would be kind of fun like a jungle, um, something that's not like you know jail. <laughs> Hated the terror group chasing you. My confession is that I think that only happened to me maybe once. Um, I did. I did a lot of one minute huge buff. I did a lot of my tour guest after they made the change so that he wouldn't do that anymore. But I think before oh, I that, I I just I must have taken played it pretty safe because I don't feel like the terror group happened to me that much. Ages of your life in there for literally nothing. Mm. Did so much Torghast lately for achievements. Wondering if the area has a North of England theme. Have you noticed? It wouldn't surprise me. Um, we were talking about the the tea, the tea thing I was earlier. The uh, yeah, you were here. That's right. Because you said you were gonna go have tea. Um, I don't know much about that part of the world but I, I I feel like I'm getting like Isle of Dorn feels very Isle of like <laughs> oh, I'm forgetting the name of it but <sighs> mm, more miners okay Hi, thanks for the free stream streak Watch your YouTube videos for years, but only just now started to catch your streams. Love the chill content. Thank you. I wanted to say Isle of Man. I just, I remember so little. I don't know what I'm talking about, and I don't want to sound like I think I do. Thorn is not an isle. I'm pretty sure they, I thought they called it an isle. Isn't that the name of the zone? Hang on. Maybe when we get back out there we can talk about it. I think I'm still spawning. Well, at least they're, they're crabs. Literally the name of the zone. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. Bucket list items Let's for me. Have mm. a quick sit down to recover. Oh, there's urban here. Have you visited England at all? Never in my life, no. Um, the family I had from England was like a grandparent that's passed on and like great grandparents that have passed on. Um, I don't think I have surviving uh, blood relatives there, or if I do, I don't. I don't know about them. I'm not very connected with like my family history or anything. But no, I've never been to England. My mom went last year. No, not even last year. Like more recently than that. 
It sounds lovely, but I, I don't know if it's... I think it's something that I like the idea of more than I would like the actual reality of, at least London. She described London as being very busy, lots of people. Um, and I think that would stress me out a lot. I live in like a like a pretend version of a city. <laughs> How you liking priest talents? They're fun. They're 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 really fun. I healed one dungeon with the Oracle talents, and I thought they were really cool. What about South of France? I don't know. Lots of things sound lovely. It's like a big day for me when I decide that I'm gonna walk to get groceries instead of getting them delivered, though. Like that's that's like a big outing for me. Is like. I walked into a store in person kind of thing. If I drive 20 minutes away from my home, that's something I'm doing like once a month. Um, <laughs> flying across the Atlantic seems a little out of my wheelhouse. I am not a total recluse, but I'm not far off from it. Oracle, make your eyes glow. It was giving me a forehead eyeball. It was giving me all kinds of crazy graphics around the f head and face of my character. That I... They were very big. <laughs> and very bright. And very not optional. 20 minutes from home with my commute to work. Uh, the new talents, you unlock them as you level. So you'll get your first one at 71, and then you continue locking, unlocking them up to 80 when the game actually comes out. For testing purposes, you are able to enable all of them at once so you can play around with them, but that is like a testing thing only. Uh, what had we here? <sighs> Had the week off, only left the house once, and it was amazing. Only going to the city center twice a year. There's people there. It's hard. Then I have to lie down a bit. Yeah, it's... I'm able to do so many things remotely that I don't really have to go into busy areas very often. And I can do it. And I try to do it every now and then just to make sure I still can. Because, um, like, sometimes family will visit and will they'll want to go to, like, a restaurant or something like that. So I need to be able to, like, well, not have a panic attack in a restaurant. Level. Or, you know, uh, I used to travel for content and it's possible that could happen again one day. So, like... <laughs> It's useful for me to be able to like have it like fly without having issues. But uh, yeah, on a, on, a, on, a, on a recreational basis, I don't know. I should continue working on my on my road and travel anxiety though, if only so that I can take myself fishing and hiking more often, because I really do like that, and I would like to do more of that. Bit tricky with the puppy, but nothing says I have to go for the entire day, I suppose. Have you tried just being more chill? Yeah, that's kind of like the, um, it's, uh, the first thing that happens is, uh, you get a handout. It was a little, like, note card, and the, if, if depressed, try be happy. If anxious, you know, chill out, and then, um, you know, if that sorts it out for you, then congratulations. <laughs> Works out. Uh, do you need the filter? Just testing. I kind of, I don't need it, I just kind of like it. Um, I... I get a kick out of it. It's, it makes the game more fun. <laughs> shame you hide yourself from the world. You've got a lot to offer. Is it a shame, though? Like, what would be accomplished by going outside and, like, I don't know, wandering around a concert or something like that? Like, what do we owe to other people that we need to go outside and be in the way? I would just be adding to traffic. <laughs> I feel like I can offer anything that I'm likely to offer from here because all of the content is distributed online. I can I can talk and socialize. I could like, you know, if I ever wrote anything down, I could post it. This is, you know, I feel like the sky's the limit. Also, streaming isn't hiding. I'm not even a VTuber. I could have had an avatar this whole time. Hazel is a Victorian. What areas would you suggest for someone looking for a place? Um, anywhere that you can afford that is not in the downtown Pandora block area. Um, you want to, you want to get some distance from that space if you can, uh, just for peace of mind and general comfiness. Whenever something goes, whenever someone gets stabbed, it's always there and it feels like it's a couple times a week. And I know that like globally, that's not a high violence rate, but it's still kind of unnerving. 
Um, but yeah, it's an expensive place. You just got to kind of figure out what's available and where you can afford to live. <laughs> Why should I go outside when Cat is here and all snuggly? <laughs> where else am I supposed to do my stabbing? Oh man, I read some article where the where a, a police official here was saying something like, "We know there there's been like a lot of stories about knife crime and stabbing." And we just want to say that while yes, a lot of people have been getting stabbed, it is the normal amount of people getting stabbed. So while it might seem like people are getting stabbed more than off more than you you normal, it is in fact the standard and apparently accepted amount of stabbing. Like <laughs> I I I understand what they're trying to accomplish with that statement, but, um, wow. <laughs> budget, budget should not be an issue. Oh, wow, man. <laughs> By all means. Um, anywhere else is, anywhere else is all pretty, pretty lovely. It depends on what kind of things you like. If you want, like, walkable, um, if you want to be, like, in an area that's, like, walkable to, like, a lot of restaurants and stores, or if you want to be in some place that's, like, more quiet and neighborhoody. Um, there's, uh, there's, there's all kinds of lovely places to live. <sighs> Fear not, citizen stabbings are happening at an average rate. Mm. Nature, quiet, accessible. <laughs> Private London, you get a complimentary stabbing as a welcome, so it's okay. Um, yeah, like, uh, Rocklands, Fairfield, I think. For that kind of thing, you're not too far from the ocean, but you've still got kind of Cook Street Villagey if they ever finish working on on that street. Reminded me, one of my high school friends became a police person in Victoria, and if you'd known him when he was 14, I suppose he's a respectable person now. Mm -hmm. So Langford, the rep with Langford is that it's not that it's like a dangerous place to live. Um, the vibe is just that it's expanded very quickly. There is a ton of very dense housing going up there. And you're going to end up with big and busy and kind of tacky, I guess, is like the is like the the issue. It's not it doesn't have quite the same charm because everything is it's kind of it. And, and this is shade that nobody in Langford <laughs> deserves, by the way. I have lived there before. I liked it quite a lot. Langford Lake is a beautiful walk. But um it's it's kind the vibe is kind of like the Dubai of the area. Like everything is new and shiny and soulless. Um there's like a there's a dog park that looked like a prison yard for dogs. It was just a chain link fence and some gravel. And uh and I don't know, man. It's uh <laughs> It's also you have to consider traffic if you want to get into town for anything. The highway out to Langford and by extension Souk is going to be almost unusable within the broad rush hour band um, going in that direction and vice versa for coming into town in the morning because a lot of people will live there and then commute into Victoria. So if you need to be going back and forth, um, it is a lot more convenient to live in town if you can at all afford to do so because that traffic is like nuts. And any accident goes on, the whole thing's like, I guess that's more of like a Malahat problem, but it's it's not like there's a bunch of workarounds like... It's kind of a, it's kind of a one road, one road situation. Uh, do you think you'd like a pet battle alternate game mode like Plunderstorm or Remix? Do you think pet battles are too niche? I think they could use the pet library and all of the models they have and the basic framework they have of pet battles to come out with something fun. But I, I feel like it would need to be fairly different from the standard version of pet battles to like really get me excited, I think. <laughs> Tune in here, my city being talked about. I want to apologize to uh to um ev everybody, <laughs> just all of you. <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing is serious. Like I said, I used to live there too. Um, nicer than the average suburb in my corner, of Germany. Might be biased. Yeah, it's um, I've like I might I might end up back there. It's tough to say. It's funny when you drive out from Langford into Machosen, though, because of the way Machosen is set up so that they cannot develop that densely. You go from, like, absolute townhouse copy-paste SimCity villa land, and then you pass the border, and then all of a sudden you're in, like, old country charming quaint farms that nobody can afford because they're millions of dollars. Um, yeah. What 
many delves give you? What did I get for doing this delve? I got a green cloak. I got 110 resonance crystals, which is a new currency you get from delves and sometimes other stuff. I got some from doing a campaign quest on a second character. And you can buy cosmetics with those. And a little bit of gold. I also got some experience for Bran. Bran has reached level three. Congratulations to Bran. Hmm. Pets' his characters in an auto battler might be kind of cool. That could be kind of cool. <laughs> um, all the buildings in my suburb are beige. <laughs> yeah, I I like to be picky about about the looks of things, but that's just when I'm like sitting, like driving by them, passing judgment. When it comes time for me to actually buy something, I if I can afford like a tacky little brown box in the corner of like a 500 unit building, and that can be my little tacky brown box, then um, then that's then that's what it's gonna be. I'm not too good for it. I'm just I'm just mean. What am I doing? I think I'm done. I think I'm done for the day. I think I want to try and uh, try and wind down a little bit before I head out later. But I'll be back tomorrow morning. I hope that I can get back in on my holy priest so I can maybe try some more dungeons. I wanted to do a delve as holy. Our tacky tin box is red trim. This sounds lovely. Hmm. Enjoy mom time. Thanks, guys. I put out a new news video fresh off the press on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen it and you want to, um, please check it out. We... We, 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 we did the thing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.